we're going to play The Sims today. It's all very exciting. I hope you're excited. <laughs> we're actually going to play the Not So Berry Challenge specifically. That is what I said, right? Okay, sorry, I had to check my own stream schedule. I was like, did I mess that up? No, <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> that is what I said. I did say not so very. Okay, good. <laughs> Imagine I get here and we're like, everybody in chat's like, um, actually, and I was wrong. No, we're fine, it's fine. Anyway, it's my stream. If I want to be wrong, then I will be. <laughs> you can't even see the game. Hold on. Sims 4, go. Go, oh, I was late. Anyway, hi everybody. <laughs> If you weren't here yesterday, by the way, we played a tiny bit of the new House Flipper game, House Flipper 2. Um, that was extremely fun for me, and I really liked it. Just so you know, that's my life update, is that I really enjoyed House Flipper 2. I actually have a couple of life updates um, about the past couple days, but I'll get into the save first before we get into it. Uh, Simmer and Olivia and Bree and Sinner and Anna and Dill and Kaden and Anthea, thank you for the subs, everybody. It's your first stream! Oh, hi! Welcome in! This is a good time to make it. I'll, I'll uh, catch you up to speed about what all is going on. <laughs> I'll make sure I, I keep you updated about the plans here. <laughs> we have much to discuss about these sims, I think. Um, okay. Hurry up. Load game faster. Um, Sims player, I don't think it's necessarily better motion sickness wise because it's still the same, like, like the camera mode is still the same in House Slipper 1 and 2. So if you, if like playing House Slipper 1 makes you feel sick, I imagine that House Slipper 2 will have the same effect on you because they didn't really change the camera. Like the, the gameplay is improved upon um, and stuff, but like the way that you walk around and, and the camera is the same. So it might make you feel sick. Although Christine says it's smoother, um, so that's good. That's a good sign. If it's smoother, it might be a little easier on you. Um, so, okay. Anyway, here's the deal. We're playing the Not So Berry Challenge. We have our Peach Gen, Gen 8 Sim. This is her name. She's Princess. Uh, she is currently in the Joke Star career. We have to try and max it. Uh, it looks like she's not doing well, but it's because she just spent her whole life trying to max the detective career. We did that, quit our job, and now we're starting over again in Entertainer. So we're only level two, but we're gonna try and grind the Entertainer career a little bit today. Um, her husband is a secret agent. I'm flopping with him too. He needs to work on his logic skills, so I'll do that today. Moss, um, Moss uses they them pronouns, by the way. Moss is going to be the heir. Uh, they are currently a child, will be a teen today. So we have that to look forward to. We're gonna age up Moss and do like all the outfits and redo the bedroom and all the things for Moss, our, our new heir. Uh, Moss has two siblings, Algae and Pickle. Um, and then we have a dog called Pulp, who you all know and love, I mean. Come on. Come on. <laughs> uh, and we also have a little cat called Broccoli. Broccoli is new. We just got it at like the end of the last episode. I kind of like Broccoli. My door is shaking. Please ignore it. It's because the AC is in that closet and sometimes the door shakes. <laughs> oh, this rat is called Alan. It's Alan9. Um, and here is the rest of my family. That is some random guy. So that's what we're up to. <laughs> this is what's been going on here in this save. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta fix the door. I can't deal with this. Sorry, everybody. If I just pull it closed tighter, it stops shaking. I can't really tell you why it does that. It just does. It started again. <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear it. Stop. Okay guys, it's, it's in a real shaky mood right now, I don't know. I don't know. Again, the, the like, um, air conditioning stuff is in there, so it... You can't hear it, someone else can. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't think I can fix it, so... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, okay. So... I think, um, what was I gonna say? I distracted myself with the door. Oh, not so very, um, and whatnot. That's what we're up to. <laughs> okay, couple other life updates, exciting news. Um, did Dan get new headphones? He did get new headphones. Yeah, so I guess we'll start there. A couple days ago, I broke Dan's headphones. I was using them and then I stood up and I tripped over the wire and then they fell onto the floor. And then like this part, 
broken half on Dan's headphones. He got new ones, they finally came. So Dan has new headphones, everything is solved. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> I was fine, by the way, when I tripped. No, it wasn't on stream. No, we were editing a video. Um, he was sad because he's had those headphones since he was 18 and he's 26. But they were, they were on their last legs. They were falling apart anyway. It was only a matter of time. And I, of course, I had to go and trip on them. Anyway, that's not the matter at hand. The exciting news is that Dan got his learner's permit yesterday. I, we didn't tell anybody he was gonna take the test yesterday because he was too nervous. He didn't want to like tell people and then have it go badly or whatever. Well, he took the learner's permit test yesterday, the written test at the DMV. Um, he got 100% of the questions correct, which is kind of fun because he studied a lot because he was so scared. Um, and now he can drive in America, not by himself with an adult who has a license, but <laughs> but he can learn how to drive. He's been like really nervous about it and like um, kind of putting it off a little bit because moving to a new country and all this is kind of scary, right? But um, he went and he got his learner's permit. So he doesn't have the physical card yet. They just gave him a paper that he can use as a permit until the card comes in the mail. And apparently the reason is because they couldn't print his license at the DMV yesterday because they have to check his residency status. So if he was like a citizen, it would have been fine. They would have just printed it yesterday, but it's because they have to check his residency status. So that's interesting. Um, good for him. <laughs> um, exciting stuff that he's gonna have his, his little permit and everything. Um, anyway, it's because he's a silly Brit. Oh, Tilly put Brit in all caps. <laughs> um, but anyway, good, yay, exciting for Dan, so. Um, he also, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, the learner's permit test, I think the written test, he was just really scared of it because I, I the thing is, I couldn't even really give him like, advice about this or what to expect because when I took the the written test they let people under 18 in Florida take it online and then like bring your results or whatever to the DMV and, and then they'd like you know take your picture and have you check your eyes and all this stuff to give you the just the permit the permit is so you can drive with an adult right so you can like practice driving and learn how to drive but I didn't have to take it at the DMV so I didn't know what to expect for him so yeah, it's like the UK theory test. It's the same thing, it's just ours instead of yours. Um, but also, <laughs> the other weird thing is that they they when he took it there, they had like kiosks, and you stand at the kiosk and take it on like a you know a screen, touch screen. <laughs> Isn't that weird? And also, it's fifty questions, and you have to get forty right to pass. And he got all 40 of them right and then it just ended he didn't have to answer the next 10 because after he had gotten 40 right it was like okay you're done and then the test just stopped so he didn't have to take the rest of it which i thought was kind of interesting also um but he got 40 of the questions right in a row and then it just ended <laughs> um so i guess that's kind of cool everybody was we were all kind of scared we didn't know what to expect so <laughs> um it's only 25 questions for you in kansas oh interesting yeah, and when I took the permit test, they let me take it online. There's a bunch of things you have to do online in advance of getting your learner's permit. And as a child, so when I was like 16, you can take it online. You also take a drug and alcohol, you have to take a drug, drug and alcohol course online in advance too. Um, Dan had to do that also, but I took the actual permit test online. But the when you get your permit as a child, you have a lot more restrictions on it. Um, so maybe they're more lenient about you taking the test online then, because you, can, you like can't drive at night for a while and you have to drive a certain number of hours and it's like all this stuff. Whereas Dan, if he wanted to, he could get his license today. If he wanted to go take the driving test today, they'd let him. He probably shouldn't because he needs to practice more, but he could. <laughs> but like uh, when you're under 18, you can't do that. Um, but anyway, it depends on the state, uh, Zeus. There's different rules in every state in the US for like how you get your license. Um, they're all, we're all basically our own little different countries. <laughs> so the process to get your license is different everywhere. Um, I can't really speak to anywhere else. I can only speak to Florida because that's my life experience. So, um, you have to wait six months in New York, even as an adult. Interesting. Um, got your learners at 14. Yeah, you can get your learner's license at 15 here, but I didn't get it till I was 16. And then I didn't get my license till I was 21. So, but anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, and if you move states, sometimes you have to retake the test, sometimes you don't, I don't know. Um, 
It all just kind of depends. Okay, I'm gonna send everybody to bed quick because I forgot to do that and then we can actually start playing, so. Um, okay. Go to bed. Everyone to bed. I'm actually gonna cheat Pulp's needs because Pulp doesn't like the... Um, well, reset the object and then make happy. Don't stop looking at the fireplace. Pulp keeps getting scared of the fireplace. Ugh, have I shown you Pulp up close today? I did, I can show you Pulp up close again though. Oops. Here you go. Pulp cam. <laughs> Jurassic and MCM and Lil Windy and Bo and Lila and Emily and Pug Baba uh, and Callie and Jurassic and NG and Mackenzie and Paula and Rat Baby and Emil and, and Emily Sierra and Tiny Goose, thank you for the subs. Is that a giant goat? Yeah, it's actually two of them. There's one there, too. I sized them up. I just thought it would be nice. So. <laughs> if you didn't know, you can size up any of- you can size up any goat. It's just- it works like any build item, you know? Um. So. <laughs> They're kind of creepy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what pack is the pink bed from? Oh. This one is the Modern Lux kit. Um, this one is from Cats and Dogs. And I saw someone ask about this rug. That rug is like a moss thing. It's sized up a lot and it's from Snowy Escape. Um, it's called Your Moment of Zen Garden Rock. It's also only 10 simoleons, so. Do the Sims still pick them up with them being sized up? Yeah, I mean, they- y your Sims will behave the same as if they were small. So the animations get kind of weird when the, um, when the goats are sized up. So just, you know, bear that in mind, I guess. Uh, but it's still funny, so. Who's the pink bed for? <laughs> oh, my Sim's dead mom. Um, it was, it was Princess's mom. So like these kids' grandma, she's dead. Recently of old age, well. She was, okay. <laughs> um, she basically died of old age. She was gonna die of old age. <laughs> until other things intervened. But she was going to die of old age if, if I had not been trying to build my Legos on stream and triple speeding and then let her die in a fire by accident because I wasn't paying attention. But that's not, it's, she was basically gonna die of old age like that day. Yes, maybe she technically died in a fire, but she was gonna die of old age that day. Um. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh look, it's Moss's birthday! Let's talk about that instead. <laughs> oh look, it's Moss! <laughs> Can I tell you guys something? I might have burnt Barbie, and then I got burnt too! Do you see this disgusting burn on my finger? That's because Barbie burned alive in my house. That's what I get. Karma! <laughs> I had it coming! <laughs> Uh, anyway, she kind of like died from Legos too, if you think about it, but anyway, anyway, let's come get some food. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna build a greenhouse, um, like a, well, not like a greenhouse, but like a house that is green for Moss. Moss is gonna become a young, or a teen, sorry, today, but I won't build Moss's, uh, green gen house until they are a young adult. So we have to wait a little bit longer until Moss gets, um, Oh, midlife crisis alert. Princess has decided rock climbing is her thing. <laughs> okay. She has a desire for adventure in her midlife crisis. That's fine. We can do that too, I guess. I'll work on it. I don't really know about climbing the mountain. This is the thing. I'm pretty sure that in the last couple of days, multiple of our siblings, oh no, not here. What? What save was it where I had multiple siblings die in rock climbing accidents recently? Was it this one? Oh, it's the 100 baby challenge. Oh, right. Okay, well, I've had multiple sims die from neighborhood stories in the 100 baby challenge recently from rock climbing. So I don't know if we should be doing any rock climbing at this current moment. It's maybe in our best interest to hold off on the rock climbing. 
Also, our purple gen had a bunch of sims die from that too, from the neighborhood stories, but that wasn't as recent. Can we just tempt fate a bit? <laughs> Last time we played, we were tempting fate with Lincoln. I should stop. It's dangerous. Where's the missing counter in the kitchen? Oh, it's not missing. When the walls are cut away, oh, don't look at that. When the walls are cut away, um, you can't see it, but it's a full cabinet. It just looks like there's a missing mm -hmm. cabinet, but it's not. So, <laughs> don't look at this either, <laughs> okay? Uh, anyway, <laughs> music and yikes and Marley, oh. thanks for the subs. All right, Moss, you, if I send Moss to school today, are they gonna like, age up while at school because that's not really what i want that's not really what i'm dreaming of at this time but did you not shower like i told you to why is the game lagging so much stop i asked you to take a shower and you're playing with a dollhouse how about you come watch a tv or something okay you have work in 10 hours you don't have work for the next four days so you can come play chess Okay, what's in the basement? This actually looks a lot worse than it is. I wasn't gonna tell you because it makes me look bad, but it's just um, the basement because my Sam used to be in the detective career. She had previously maxed the detective career. We recently quit our job and we're starting to be a, um, a, a comedian, but we had recently maxed that detective career. And so, uh, can you not get to school? Oh, you're stuck. Oh, you're stuck. Okay, well, that's not my fault. I'm gonna cheat it then. I wasn't paying. Well, it is my fault, but. Go to school. Go to school. Go to school. Okay, anyway, we max the detective career. And in the detective career, they give you a lot of career rewards. Um, like, basically, they basically give you every single furniture piece in the police station. You get so much. Normally, with the career rewards, it's like one item for the normal careers. In this one, it's like six or seven items every time they get promoted. And so I got given, like, a bunch of prison stuff, so I put it in the basement. But I've not put anybody in there. I've not put anybody in there. Um, you have a crush? Go for it. That that clip makes it sound like I put a baby in there. I did not. When the baby was born, it spawned down there, Christine. You have to give appropriate context or else I look dangerous. <laughs> You're making me look bad. The baby was never put down there. The baby put itself down there it spawned there and I quickly swiftly moved it out <sighs> anyway <laughs> jelly bean robin music uh and yikes and fun guy and sir and blue orchid and yanpoint thank you for the subs uh oh <laughs> what color gen is lincoln oh lincoln is just princess's husband so he's nothing special <laughs> he's just a guy <laughs> he's just a guy it's all right Okay, so as soon as Moss gets home, we'll age them up. That'll be good. Is his last name Morgan? Yeah, he was like, I, I think he might have been a sim that like someone else made, like maybe like a child from a family that one of you guys had put on the gallery. I don't remember exactly, it's been a while. I met him at work. So. Are you gonna be able to get an A in school today if I have you study hard? Maybe I'll have all the kids study hard. It would be really helpful if you got an A in school today. You ate food at school, I decided. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, Moss uses they, them pronouns. Um, Lincoln uses he, him. Princess is she, her. The two kids, Algie and Pickle, are he, him. Pulp uses any pronouns, and so does Broccoli. Um, Moss ate. There you go. <laughs> Your sims always eat and use the restroom at school and work. Yeah, I- they do eat. Like, they will- it will fill their food need. It just- sometimes they take a long time to get to it, so. Yeah, Pulp is eternal and transcends all, as chat says, so. <laughs> Cozy Gamer, thanks for the 20 month resub! Thank you so much. Um, no, I'm playing on normal lifespan on this one at the moment. So. They must have the late lunch schedule. <laughs> yeah, uh, Moss has second lunch at school. Ronin? 
You can be a genius. That sounds fine by me. I'm totally okay with that. Glenn Price. No. <laughs> no. Did you call someone Pickle? Oh, Pickle! Yes! Yes! One of my kids is named Pickle. Your name Pickle. Look at that. <laughs> oh, RG, hey, it's good to see you. I'm glad you can make it to the stream today. What, did Alan die? Oh. Oh no, Alan is a doctor. Apparently, the rat. That's good. Sorry, I'm just trying to triple speed through here today a little bit. Do you wish you looked as happy as I do? No. No, the blue gen is the last gen of Not So Berry. It's after green. So, so Moss's kid will be the blue gen. That'll be the final generation of Not So Berry. Um, so we're doing that one last. Next, but not quite yet. How are the kitties? Oh, they're doing really good. Um, the kittens have been extremely cuddly. Everybody has been sleeping on my bed, like basically nonstop recently, which has been really fun for me. <laughs> So that's my, uh, that's my big life update, I guess. What's that? What did he do in there? Is that because of the- is that like a delayed reaction to his- to his thing? His, like, gained trait? Because it looked like he had magic poop. <laughs> I think it was supposed to- I think that was like a delayed animation from when he got the genius trait. But for some reason, it happened like long after he actually got it. Because that happened ages ago when he was sitting here. <laughs> and it waited until he got to the toilet to do it. <laughs> That's really weird. It almost seems, you know when your sims get pregnant and they take the pregnancy test and there's confetti? That's what that looked like. <laughs> Except it was like magic sparkle. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Moss is done with school for the week. Unfortunately, did not get an A. That's okay. Let's have, um... Do you want to come bake the cake for the kid, then? Alright. I am going to make... Oh, we don't need a gourmet one anymore. I maxed the skill. We were trying to get a max gourmet skill. An oopsie baby sure would be fun. You want me to have an oopsie baby? You want me to get him pregnant with an alien baby? <laughs> Should I try and force it? Should I? Cause I don't wanna. Okay. Should I just make an alien? Abduct him? How do you- can you force that with a mod? Or do I need to like... Didn't a few days ago I say, I'm never having another kid! Remind me, I'm never having another kid! But, in, in MC Command Center- oh, I can just start an alien pregnancy. Oh my god. That's easy. Well... That was easier than I thought. Okay, yikes. So, he's been abducted by an alien. You saw it. So, who's the guy with the paper bag? Oh, oh, paper bag guy. I don't know where he went. That's the ranch hand. They help with the goats, so. We're gonna have an alien baby. Oh, this will be so fun! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what will you name it? I don't know yet. We'll see. This is a mistake. Yeah, these kids are the green gen. This actually is not the first alien baby that we've had recently. Well, it was a while back. We we had an alien sim. Uh, Grave, one of the previous gen heirs, so you go back a few gens, great 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 grandpa or something, he was half alien because his mom was an alien. So... Shrek? Oh. 
I did think about that, didn't I? And no, the kids are not triplets. They're all different ages. Moss is gonna be a teen today. Algie's about halfway, and Pickle just became a child. So it's kind of weird where, like, everybody looks like they're the same age, but there are great distances between all these kids, technically. Whoa, it's lagging. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're having some big lag problems today, huh? You will be so upset when the alien becomes an infant. Yeah, I know. At least we have a room for it already. We can get like a really cool alien room. Out with grandma's room and in with the alien. You know? Okay, as soon as princess finishes this cake. Oh, she has to go to work. You're gonna be late because of the cake. Okay, go, quick, quick. Quick! Your mom has to- Go! Okay. Your mom- Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> she- I've been giving her different entertain enter entertainer costumes recently. So. Um, okay. Moss, it is time for you to age up. Let's go. I'll have your mom work hard. Okay, you're good. Moss, you, my friend, are officially- uh-oh. No! Oh, I thought he was gonna eat that. We're fine. Moss is officially going to become a teen. Here we go. Let me get a screenshot of this. Cute! Moss, 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 moss. Yay! Okay. So we have to give very specific traits as part of the not so berry challenge. These are the rules and we must follow them. Um, the green generation has to be squeamish, a geek, and cheerful. And we need the computer whiz aspiration and we'll do the tech guru career. Um, the main thing is we have to do mixology, video games, and programming. We have to do the tech guru career and computer whiz aspiration. We have to accept every invitation to parties and outings with our friends. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, we also have to have at least five good friends and five enemies. So now that we are a teen, we can start working on that, which will be kind of fun. Um, let's get the computer with aspiration. I might pick the geek trait as our next one for them. Um, and just so you all know, again, Moss uses they, them pronouns, so. If we have no friends, then no invites. Ah, unfortunately, we have oh. to have friends. Yeah, we have to accept every, every invite. I would say probably from like starting now. Now that we are a teen, it's time. Enemies first, oh God. If we get a call like asking us to go to like Batu or something. Oh my. <laughs> and Mill and Frog and Spacing Out and Yikes and Reject and Yellow. Thank you for the subs. So Every nice. prom so outing. Cool, cool. Yeah, all that stuff. We have to go to all of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What about high school? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean? Like, the high school outing invitations? Or do you mean the, cool. the uh, career, like, how high school is a like works like an active career. We don't have to go to the active high school every day. That's not like an outing invitation from a friend. That's an opportunity to go to school. Um, but we don't have to do that. Maybe we could, do you think it's worth starting the computer whiz one now? Or should we do one of the teen aspirations? Cause it might be kind of fun if we tried to pick like, we could do like the drama llama one so we can make some enemies as a teen. I don't know. Well, Oppenheimer, these, the hair, we just, the sim literally aged up two seconds ago. So we so, haven't picked so. any hairstyles or anything. Um, I know some of you in chat like the long hair. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. I'm not sure. We can finally have green eyebrows though. So that's a win. Um, I don't really know what hairstyle I want to have. I'm open to trying a lot of options. I'm willing mm -hmm. to go through like many, 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 many. I wasn't really picturing them with like super long hair though. Um, I was kind of picturing more of like a, like mm -hmm. this kind of length, like more of like a, not short, but not long, you know, sort of middle is kind of what I was picturing. I actually like that one a lot. 
That one's from university, so we keep that in mind. Um, I don't know, I'm overthinking it a little bit, I think. You think mullet? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. The mullet from, um, Honest, like, no joke. The My First Pet Stuff mullet. Ooh. This is one of my favorite hairs in the game. I really like this one. But the My First Pet Stuff mullet, like, Ooh. for real, is actually not bad. <laughs> it might, like, genuinely be kind of fun. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, oh. Yeah, none of these are speaking to me. Only the one from the school, the university pack has been speaking to me so far. Options. Uh. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna end up trying literally every single one. This werewolf one is kind of cool, too. Ugh, not green. Only green is okay. Hmm. Oh, this one's nice, too, from Horse Ranch. Hmm, okay. So far, I like this one. I liked this one. I liked... We'll go back up to the curly oh. one, too. Hmm. This is the new hair. But I don't know if I like this one. What is the... <gasps> Options. Hold on. Where's the other one I liked? Mm -hmm. It was close to the top, right? This one. Hmm. I don't like that one anymore. One, two, hmm. three. Two, mm. I'm overthinking it a lot. I don't know what I want. I do like the, like, extra green in this one. <laughs> the only problem with this is that, like, it means that you can't really do any other hairstyle. Because, like, normally, yeah. if you wanted to, we could, like, put Moss's hair in a ponytail, you know? But, like, when you have one of these, with this link, then you could, like, pretend it was in a ponytail, you know? But with this has, like, no other hairs match this swatch, you know? Ooh. This is a totally different vibe. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Could be just during their teen years. That's true, we should do a poll. Like an actual poll. Um, so number one is, hold on, I'm making it, don't worry. The mullet, number two. Um, I don't know how to describe number three. Oh, oops. Number three is curly-ish. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I made a poll. Wait, Moss is not a baby? No, Moss just became a teen. Okay, well, here's all of the options. Seems like most people prefer this one, which is surprising Ooh. to me that they prefer number three, but one... Two, three. One, two, three. I don't know if I've used this hair in ages. Ooh. Fifty-three percent is voting for the curly-ish one. Ombre is the losing one with twenty-three percent, and the mullet is twenty-four percent. So it's pretty close. Ooh. You think it looks best on them? Yeah, I think that I like number three the best. I like number three was the first one that spoke to me. They all look like a different color green, too. <laughs> That's like part of it, is the greens look so different. This one, the first one is like more shiny, I guess. Okay, well number three won, so I guess we'll do number three. We can also always change it. Like it's not like we, you know, we are making like some final lifetime decision. Like it's not like we're stuck with this forever, you know? <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mandy and Blonde and Purple and Kai and Lacey, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. We can try this. Yeah, maybe they could have the longer one as an adult and we can say they grew it out a little bit. Cause as a child, they had short-ish hair, like a bowl cut. So we could say that they're growing it or something. I don't know. 
Or not. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what- I don't really know if I want Moss to have, like, super long hair. I kind of like this sort of length, the ones we were looking at, but... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Okay, I'm trying to decide... <sighs> There's so many options for clothing, and it's a little bit overwhelming. And I'll say this already. There's a reason I never do casts on stream, okay? And it's because I find it incredibly distressing mm -hmm. when people have opinions that are harmful <laughs> to, to, like, the sim, you know? So I don't want to hear anything mean about my sim. Uh, bear in mind, we're making a sim. We have no idea what they're like. We're kind of figuring it out right now. Um, and if you stress me out, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it later off camera, okay? <laughs> no, we don't need to, like, put it in emote-only mode. It's just that, like, uh, everybody has, like, really, especially with Moss, because Moss is kind of a star, we have some really strong opinions about what Moss should wear, and I don't really know what I want yet, so we just need to, like, give time to figure it out and not panic if I don't pick the exact outfit that you want also, you know? So like, let's just be gentle and friendly and not aggressive, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh, how about this? No. <laughs> Sorry. I'm kind of wanting to see if there's maybe any full body outfits so, that so. I don't normally use. Um. I'm- I'm almost looking around to see if there's anything- Cause like- like this thing, I barely ever use this. This is the kind of stuff that I'm- I'm trying to like find some hidden gems of swatches. I don't think I like this one in particular, but that's kind of like an example of what I mean. Um, just- just things that maybe I wouldn't normally go for. We can wear fun green pajamas. That's so- <laughs> Moss is gonna be kind of like- Moss is gonna be kind of like cottage core vibes, I think, mm. a little bit as well. Because we're gonna live in a little cottage in Henford on Bagley, a little mossy cottage, so... Um, we can- oh, these overalls are so fun. That might be a fun hot weather outfit. That's not green enough. See, this has nothing green. Terrible. Devastating, truly. Um... Do any of the cottage living sweaters have nice mossy colors oh. on them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Green? I'm so excited for this green, Jen. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> I, I'm serious. Like, I've been desperately waiting for this moment for so long. This is cute. I forgot about that swatch with, like, the gold accents. It is kind of a mossy colored dress, too. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Look at some of these outfits. From, like, the athletic career. <laughs> I kind of forgot about those. Ooh, I forgot this one has some fun swatches, too, huh? I don't really want to use that. I'm just looking. Sometimes it helps to just go through everything. Go through all the options. Figure out what we've got. Idea? No, we're not going to make the Mossy Cottage today. Moss is only a teen, so we're not going to build their house yet. Um, we, will, we would wait to do Moss's house until... Um, until we are like moving out with them, you know, um, we would we wouldn't do it yet. I'd I'd probably hold off until it's actually time for us to move out before I did it. Okay, I'm looking for possibly mm -hmm. cottagey sweater. Wow, that is a horrendous color. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know. Now that would make great formal wear. What the blobby outfit? Maybe you're right. <sighs> All the noises that sims make when you're just standing there in cast is really, like, distressing. See, I love the idea of a sweater. You really can't go wrong with a sweater. Also, like... Wait. Wait. <laughs> Uh, I think we might have just uncovered something. <laughs> I do like- I do like that sweater I was just looking at, too. So we can save that one as an idea. I'm kind of just going through and saving some shirts that I like. This one's not green enough. Oh! Oh, oh! Mm -hmm. See? This is what I mean! Cottage core. That's cute. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Um... 
Are any of these good? <gasps> oh, wait, that one's so cute. Wait, 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 wait. Where did it go? The colors? Oh, I've lost Ooh. it. I think it was from growing together. I went too far, perhaps. I definitely went, okay, hold on. Um, you think it feels too teal? What, the green sweater? You think so? The thing that just spoke to me, oh, I wasn't thinking of that one, but that's good too. This is what just spoke to me, is this shirt. Uh. I thought that was really cute. But this little cardigan is kind of cute too. It's not as green. This one is kind of screaming like, you know, genius uh, computer whiz vibes. Mm. <laughs> I think the cardigan feels good. I think the cardigan has the right vibes for what I'm going for. Can they have body moles? Yeah, we can do that. Hold on, let me do that now before I forget. Um, 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 we can get some of these. Maybe these two. Hmm. Nice. I wish there was a way for that to like, yeah. almost like randomize, you know? Hmm. It's kind of annoying because when you're not in like cast out full edit mode, you can't even add that stuff. Is Moss gonna join the chess team? Yeah, yeah. I like the idea of Moss joining the chess team. I was kind of thinking about that too. Guys, <laughs> we can have green body hair. Mm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is so fun. Um, that's a, not the right shade of green. That's not going to work. I do like this shape of skirt, but we need something that's like, See, that one works, but I don't like the cut of it. So, that's too samey in color, not the same. Green, but maybe too dark. Uh. It's not body hair, it's moss. <laughs> There's, it's not hair, it's literally moss that's growing. So, this one could be cute. Mom jeans, maybe? Yeah, we're probably gonna wear jeans for some of the outfits. Not all of them. Um, okay. I think I like that. Ooh. Mom's shirt will be good for formal. I think I like this short one like this for this outfit. Um. Okay, maybe? What kind of shoes? I'm terrible with shoes, we always know this. I never know what to do. Maybe just some like little boots. Ooh. I always like um, the get together ones are always good. Oh, we'll get green nails, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> we will have some really nice green, green boots. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know there was greens, watch on that. <laughs> That's not the right shade of green, those nails. Hold on, let me look at all the green. Okay, also, if you're just tuning into the stream and you're at this, that's kind of mossy though. It's werewolf nails is the problem. If you're just tuning into the stream and you're sat here wondering like, why is everything green? It's too much green. No, you can never have too much green. And this is the not so berry challenge. So what we do is is really, um, <laughs> we really embrace the green is kind of the situation. So um, it's gonna be kind of chaotic. The, the great deal of green that we will be using. I'm doing this on the fifth outfit category and this is supposed to be like, <laughs> it's supposed to be like their, um, their main outfit now, but that's okay. I'm just trying to go through and, and see um, what I like best. Of course, these don't come in green, do they? Why would they? 
I think any of the green eyeliners are horrendous. <laughs> I don't think I can bring myself to do that. We can do a little eyeliner though. I'm okay with a little bit. It just can't be green because the green does not work. It doesn't look good. It's very frustrating, but I guess it is what it is. That one's a darker shade of green. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Oh. I like the color of that better. So maybe that could be good. The black will help their eyes stand out. I guess that's true. I don't usually give my teens very much makeup. Most times I just give them like maybe an eyeliner. Do we do glasses or do they not really work? Those are kind of oh. mossy. So that's kind of fun. Septum, oh, that's fun too. I don't know, we have a lot of options. I guess, do we do gold maybe? Oh yeah, gold is better. That's cool, I like that. I'm big enough the piercing now. We don't have to wait till they're older. Uh. Are you going to get into any gameplay? We will play, but we have to, We our, our legacy heir just aged up. Um, so, uh, we are excited and giving outfits. So, <laughs> um, Emma, thank you for the 35 months. Uh, and D with the 13 months. Lucy, Kira with the subs. Miv with the tier two, 58 months. Who says, wow, I haven't watched your stream since last year. <laughs> and Reject, thank you for the gifted subs too. I really like this oh. sweater, actually. I think this sweater is really cute. This is a fun outfit. <laughs> okay. Um, I might actually delete a couple of these ones that I don't really like is, oh, I don't like that one as much anymore either. I want this one to be their first outfit. This is their main outfit. And I wanna use this top cause it's really cute. So, oh, the skirt, I forget where it's from. And maybe like high school years. Oh no, oh, the skirt is from Get Together. Maybe we do this one with like some jeans. Do we uh -huh. do green jeans? At what point? have we gone too far, you know? That is the question. There are some that are darker colors. That looks okay. I don't think that one's too far. It kind of matches the color of the tree. Yeah, they're non-binary soccer, yeah. Um, thanks for asking. Okay. Remember Lean Green Eugene? <laughs> Lean green, mean Eugene green. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about that soon. We're channeling our uh, family history, who was a dance machine, yeah. That was a sim that one of my sims was married to, and the sim's name was Eugene Green, Ugh. and he was mean and a dance machine. And I think we randomly, I think we picked a different trait to also match those, but we just kept laughing about how like Eugene and all these, why, why does everything rhyme? Like it was just funny. So Chad's, Chad's kind of referencing that about Eugene. Um, oh, I don't like those. I don't like those either. Mm. I don't like those either. Oh, those are okay. Is there a clip of that? Um, I don't know if there's specifically a clip of it. Cause like, bear in mind, this was, <laughs> this was sort of like a, oh, that's a butterfly ring. That's so cute. This was kind of like an extended period of time sort of thing. Like it, it didn't happen just one time. Like my Sim married Eugene Green, so. Uh, Eugene, there was a lot of talk about Eugene f for a long time. There was a clip of me saying it in an old highlight reel. Okay, so there is a clip of it somewhere. I wouldn't really know where to look. Oh, you can see this. That's good. That might be good because it brings out some of the, it has like a green string, but it also has some more gold. Um, Kelly, thanks for the 42 months. And Marty, thank you for the thousand bits. Hmm. I really like this top. I think that shirt is really cute. Let's find a bracelet too. Um, ah. Something green, not that one. Oh, does the scrunchie come in green? 
the scrunchie from <gasps> it does it does uh, oh my goodness that's perfect we probably can't wear it for this outfit but we can wear it for this one that's so cute i like that <laughs> french sex for 21 months okay that's cool i like that a lot should we do let's okay let's do our other outfits and then maybe come back to every day if we want to get more everyday outfits yeah that's a cute item right it's um it's from the grunge revival kit it's like a little scrunchie for your wrist <laughs> So, so. I think it's really fun. Hmm. Um, okay, so the hair that we ended up using was up higher. It was this one. Does that fix all your hairs? No, I'm gonna have to change them all. Okay. Okay. Um, is Moss left or right-handed? Oh, I don't know. You can use a cheat to set that in game, by the way, if you want to. I haven't really ever paid attention to that. Yeah, it'd be cool if we had more, like, hair tie accessories. Um, cause that scrunchie is the only one like that that we have. It'd be cool if we had some more things like that. Um. Oh, wrong thing. I'm trying to do my formal wear. So... Did we have an idea for formal wear? I remember us talking about something or... No, that was... <laughs> it was a joke about this, wasn't it? <laughs> it wasn't actually... It wasn't actually an idea for formal wear. I think it was just a joke about Blobby. <laughs> Sorry. I had it in my head. I knew we mentioned the word formal wear, but I couldn't remember what it was that we were talking about. <laughs> I don't know. We could do two. We could do one that's a skirt and one that's more of like pants and a top. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I like the idea of using one of the longer mm. skirts, but these skirt colors are not really speaking to me. And I think that one's kind of ick. Mm. This one's not really as green as I want it to be. Oh. Um, mm. So, blobby could be considered a long skirt. You're probably right about that. A dress? Maybe. I think we were kind of excited about this skirt, but it's not as long as I remember it being, so I don't know. Um, formal, please, again. Let me just look through all this stuff quick. <gasps> Cottage core! Oh, wait a minute. If we paired that with a green skirt... This isn't uh, I don't like it. I want have like this is the the cottaginess of my dreams i don't really think that that matches i need it to be like a little bit higher waisted don't i mm. that's like a denim Ooh. skirt that doesn't really work there's a lot of buttons happening on this which is maybe too much <laughs> Same there, it's like too many buttons. Oh. I like the idea of trying to match it with a skirt. I just don't know which one it would work with. Ooh. I think of the ones I just looked at, I liked this one. And I, I have never seen that before. <laughs> I've never seen that one. Um, this one was all right, but I'm worried about the buttons. I don't know. Was this one okay? This could be like kind of a casual formal wear. And then we could get like a a dress that's a bit fancier. What's wrong with buttons? No, I think what's what's throwing me is that it's like six buttons or seven, eight buttons all in a row. And they're like different buttons. There's like this button's different. Those three are different. That one's It's like there's so many buttons. You know? That's, so that's why I'm like wondering if I've done something bad by having so many buttons. <gasps> oh. Wait. <laughs> I like it with this with the socks. <laughs> I think that's so fun. Um, do we try and do like a green boot or have we taken it too far if we do that? I don't like those boots. We could go back to brown if we're gonna, uh, that looks bad. 
I think the buttons on the skirt looked warped. Um, they might be a little bit. Unfortunately, with the Ooh. Sims, um, yeah, we're gonna live in Henford on Bagley, yeah. We're gonna have, like, a mossy cottage. Um, what I was going to say is with the Sims, unfortunately, um, this sort of happens. Oh, that's not green enough. Um, when you put, uh, like, feminine-framed clothes on masculine-framed Sims, sometimes there's, like, weird warping and stuff that happens. Um, it's- it can be hard to do at times. Same thing, like, the opposite way. It just- the clothes don't always fit right, which is really frustrating, um, for a lot of us, mm -hmm. as we know. Um, maybe, like... Yeah. They should get into knitting. Oh, I love that idea. But yeah, that's the um, that's the plan. Is we're gonna have them. Maybe these shoes could be okay. This kind of gives um, Cassandra Goth a little bit. <laughs> um, I don't hate it. Styled looks. You want me to do styled looks? Well, that's boring. We're going all out with the outfits today. Um. Anyway, so we're gonna. I keep getting distracted with my conversation, but we're gonna move into a mossy cottage in Henford on Bagley eventually. Mm -hmm. Just not yet. Those are kind of green. Um, they're a teen. They just became a teen today, um, like minutes ago. Okay, so we'll do that as one of the formal outfits, and then we can do a dress for the other one. Oh, wait, I didn't put your other accessories back. Um. You can have your glasses, probably, I think. I like it. Okay. And then we can do, like, a dress, perhaps. Is there a higher skirt that looks like that one? No, there's not really oh. anything better um, high-waisted. It's it's really hard to find stuff that will match the um, the top that we have. Again, like, sometimes you just encounter some difficulties when you're putting, like, the opposite frame clothes on Sims, so. Hmm. Um, what are the traits? Oh, we have squeamish and geek right now. Um, okay. Mm. So... That's kind of moss- oh no, it's not mossy, it's too brown. Never mind, I changed my mind about that. Uh. Green? I don't know what I want. I was thinking about- <gasps> So, so. Everyone. I'm being so completely serious right now. We have to do that. Mm. Uh, we simply have no choice but to do this. When else are you going to do this? <laughs> when else will we have an opportunity like this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, not those. Those are bad. Those are a little darker, which might be better. I don't know. Oh. That's kind of iconic. This can be like our prom look. Oops, wrong thing. I want to do some makeup for it. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's The Sims 4, so your makeup options are not so good. We have, in fact, very limited makeup options. This is what I was wearing for our everyday look. See, like, it's just Ooh. not, it's just not the vibes. Like, the makeup options just in general. There's not any makeup that looks good. It's just, it's so hard to find. Um, what pack is the suit from? Oh, this suit is from the, the luxury party stuff pack. Um, <laughs> so sorry to be using it here uh, today. <laughs> But the suit is from Luxury Party. Can we do a green lipstick? Do we dare to have a green lipstick? I, I believe the answer may have to- Oh! Hmm. It doesn't look good. Maybe we do no eyeshadow and just green lipstick. It's not so berry, okay? This is like our actual time to shine. I might try and make it darker. Even darker. Oh, I made it lighter. Oops. 
The darker it is, the better it is. It's not as like <laughs> lower the opacity. Isn't that gonna be kind of? That's a little better. Again, it's our prom look, and it's it's listen, it's it's the not so berry challenge. It doesn't have to be good. No one has to have. It doesn't need to be nice, you know. <laughs> Let me put the eyeliner back on. Oh, this one's missing it now. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we have two options. Our prom look is ready. Yeah, it's prom. Like, it's okay if we do something kind of over the top, I think. Because when else are you going to do it? Maybe we can have a different nail polish, too, that's like... But isn't one of them sparkly? Or does the one not come in sparkly? We could get some fancy nails, though, for prom. Okay. I like that. So, athletic wear. Mm -hmm. Yikes with the lime green. <laughs> Everything is so bright. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hmm. Um. <sighs> My eyes, yeah. <laughs> it's so brightly colored. Um, see, this one like doesn't fit right. I'm actually kind of okay with the lime green. Maybe I didn't mean it. Maybe I really didn't mean it. Those are some leggings. There's little shorts. Oh. Some of these are a bit more mossy in color. Like these sweatpants are kind of more moss vibes. So give them a mini ponytail. Oh, we could do that. What about like the, um, it's also from university. I'm picturing the, oh, this one, it's right there. It's not as curly. But we could do that. Put their hair up a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the noises yeah. they make in cast are really weird. <laughs> I don't like it. They they just keep standing there making like really weird noises. All the Sims always do. Not green enough. Mm -hmm. I need green. Oh, that's green. Uh -huh. Maybe like... That's truly terrifying. If we can find some shorts that maybe have... See, like that's all right. Okay. We'll just get some random green sneakers. I don't really have a preference for what they look like. I don't know. These could be okay. Okay. I'll get your glasses back. And it, not those glasses. Where do they go? These glasses. And we get the piercing back too before we forget. Okay. Um... So yeah, Jink, uh, if you if you wanted to like customize, um, if you wanted to like say have your sim use neo pronouns, it's kind of cool. You can customize uh, their pronouns like pretty specifically, um, and it so it gives you the opportunity to like set all of these in. So you could use any neo pronoun you wanted um, and like use it, and it gives you a chance to use it in a sentence like this, um, which is pretty cool. Um, by default, you can use they them she her or he him, and then you can do custom pronouns. This is how you could do like a like a she, they pronoun, you could like put she with like a grilled cheese, Bob told them. So you can kind of like mix and match it a little bit um, if you would like to do that um, and, and really customize it. That's not a mod, no, that's um, from The Sims. It, it was an update that came out specifically just in English games, um, people that played the game in English uh, a year ago or so. I forget exactly when. Um, so. Um, okay, our athletic wear, I don't really care about too much. I don't really see ourselves, um, using athletic wear yeah. too much. Um, yeah, I mean, there's always things that could be better about it, but, um, considering what we had before, which was nothing, <laughs> this is kind of a nice improvement. I actually am genuinely obsessed with this. I think we have to use this, and I think I want to use the bunny slippers, too. 
What if they're invited to the gym? Well, that's why they have an outfit, but we're not gonna worry about it too much. We're not gonna be wearing it all the time, so. Um, okay, I think, what was I gonna look at? Oh, outfit category, sleep, bunny slippers. Ugh. Um, okay, and then cute green socks. I actually like those little socks a lot. We should use those at some point. Um, yeah, one of my very dear friends, um, good call, Brew, but one of my very dear friends, um, whose name is Momo Misfortune on everywhere. <laughs> I was gonna say on Twitch, but it's on everywhere. <laughs> um, they, uh, they worked really hard to uh, like sort of campaign and spread awareness um, and ask The Sims to add custom pronoun options into the game. Um, and I think that we can really specifically uh -huh. thank Momo for, for having this update actually come through, which is pretty cool, so. Um, okay, so mm -hmm. we can use that as our only sleepwear. I kind of love it though. It's kind of good. <laughs> our party outfit, oh my God, we're gonna be in Cass all day. <laughs> I get way, way too invested in this. I don't think that's a bad thing though. Oh no. I guess we could, you know what we could use as one of those sweaters that I liked before but didn't use? Because we were talking about this one and then I didn't end up using it, so we could use this one maybe. Oh, oh. That matches. But I kind of want a skirt. That one matches. We could do that. Does this green color look bad with it or is it cute? Cause I kind of like those little socks. Maybe the, um, maybe the skirt is not good with it being knit material too. Do we know who the heir will be? We, we are pretty dead set on Moss being the heir. So Moss, uh, I think is definitely gonna end up being the heir. We decided that when my Sim was actively still pregnant with Moss, and we realized that we were obsessed with the name Moss. Ugh. Um, we, we've kind of come to this conclusion long ago, <laughs> and we've been really set on having Moss be the heir for a while. <laughs> I think we can use that. Is, are the socks okay? I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, Moss has been the one for a while, so I think the socks are okay. I think they're cute in kind of a fun way. I like the little butterfly ring. I think that's really cute. Are there any necklaces? Does it, no, you can't see it, okay. Hmm. Always good to check, because sometimes you can see the necklace on top of their shirt, and sometimes you can't, so. I always like to check, just to be sure. Okay. <laughs> um, I think we gave Moss they, them pronouns as soon as we were able to set pronouns. So like when they were a baby. I think we said it like as soon as we could, so. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I like the skirt. I think the skirt is kind of throwing me off. I'm almost tempted to make mm. it black so that it matches. I think that might look better. It's not all green anymore, but I think that's okay. Oh. What about black tights? Oh, we can wear some tights with it. I still want to have, oh no, I don't like them. Hmm. Never mind. Are there green fishnets? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Should I wear them? I didn't even know there was gonna be green like mesh hmm. tights. Wait, well, yeah, that's kind of good. Okay, so this will be Moss's party outfit. Um, for our swimwear, I never know what I want. I might, I might wear a shirt with this too, but we could do something like, kind of cute like this maybe. Oh. I don't know. Maybe the floaties? Oh, the floaties! Oh, but isn't that one shirtless? I don't think that Moss would want that. Um, I wish that there was, I wish you could have it with a top. Ah. Um, packs, poolside splash. Let me look at the, 
Oh, not in poolside splash. There's a floaty bikini. Oh, that's true. There is one. Wait, let me go back to poolside splash again. But even then, I just... Maybe I'm projecting, because I would never want to wear a bikini <laughs> like that, but how much is it? How much is it? Ugh. Wait. Can you not have it, even if you have the masculine Ooh. filter off? Because technically Moss has a Ugh. masculine frame. Can you not have the other one? Cause you know how there's one, I'll show you one oh. princess, but you know how there's a, um, this with the bikini top, you can't access that. No, it comes in green. It's not the filter. You can't access the shirtless one for these Sims either. It's not about the filter. Well, I find that frustrating and upsetting. So, I guess I understand why this one is not available for feminine frame oh, sims, cool. I guess, because they can't be shirtless, but. Hmm. No, it's not really about the color. It's not the color filter, you guys. It's nothing to do with that. Ooh, I've never seen that before. It's not the color filter though. Um, oh yeah, we will pick a top and bottom separately. We were just excited about the floaty, is all. Um, there's plenty of separate tops and bottoms that we can use. Oh. Um, mm. We have loads of options, so it's not too big of a deal. Is that the most green thing you come in? Oh, those are boring. I might go back to... What were the green shorts that I had before? Oh, these maybe could pass as swimwear if we wanted them to. I don't really like, I don't really want, I don't know, I kind of want it to be a little bit more coverage. Uh -huh. I just feel like, cause I, I don't really, I would never wear a bikini like this. So I'm projecting on Tomas, but. Hmm. Um. Okay. No, guys, I, I understand the concern and what you're saying, but the changing the filter is not going to make a difference. It's just not there. It's not there for either of them. Um, for, for either frame, Ooh. so. The partly sheer one. Oh, that yeah. one's all right. What about, um, Ooh. from this one? Do you come in bright green? <gasps> Ooh. See, that's more what that's more what I'm thinking. That's more what I want. Okay. That's good. That's the spirit. <laughs> Does this come in green? No. Oh man. <laughs> I like that a lot. I think that's really fun. <laughs> okay, we'll have our little hey. uh, nail polish. Should I give Moss some sunscreen? Be careful out there. <laughs> you don't want to get burnt. <laughs> Oh, we'll pick some toenail polish too, before we forget. I actually like the color of this a lot. I think that's really cool. Toenail polish. Nice, we'd love to see that tan line. Oh no, <laughs> that tan line would be rough. <laughs> Do we know Moss's dating preferences yet? No, I'm not sure. I kind of, so, I sort of think of all of my Sims, at least at first, as being open to dating anyone for the most part. Mm. And then sometimes they're mm -hmm. exclusively gay. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I never have straight Sims, ah. but, so I don't know. We'll find out. We're not sure yet. We'll see who Moss dates. Although Moss is gonna date Elphaba, so. Spellcasters is who Moss dates? I don't know. <laughs> we have a sim made already because my friend Christine made a sim for Moss to date. Um, we, we've decided, oh, that's not the right thing. We decided this before Moss was even 
a figment of our imagination before Moss was even born. We decided that we wanted the green gen to date a spellcaster that was green called Elphaba. So. Um, oh. Moss dates Elphaba. But I don't know if they'll date anyone else as a teen or not. So we'll see. We might have like a bad breakup as a teen. We have to have five enemies. So we could have like a bad breakup Ooh. as a teenager. And that might be kind of a fun way to um, get an enemy. That's one of the rules of this challenge is that we have to have five enemies, so. Um, okay. Um, messy prom night breakup, please. Ooh, that'd be fun. No, we're not talking about Elphaba from The Sims. We're talking about Christine's Elphaba. Not Elphaba. But first name, mm. all one word, Elphaba, <laughs> is the idea. <laughs> Color is green. Okay. No, I don't know who we'll have a bad breakup with. It just depends who Moss meets, I guess. So we'll kind of see who's around. Oh, 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 I know. We were going to wear the, um, the overalls. We already decided that part. Mm -hmm. That was 100% uh, already decided. We have to wear these overalls for our hot weather outfit. For sure. Should we get some little sneakers that are green, maybe? Socks? Oh, you can't see those. Socks? I like the green converse. That looks kind of cute. I really like this top. <laughs> I think that the, this outfit is really good. Mm -hmm. I really actually like the, um, the scrunchie that we've been doing. So I might try and use that again, too. It's lost. So, so. Um, grunge revival, green. Okay, that's cute. And then we've been wearing also the little butterfly ring. Would I ever make a, a get ready with me? Like like a real life one? I don't know what, what it wouldn't really be that exciting. <laughs> I'm not really a, good at that. I don't really do that much. So. Okay, that's a good hot weather outfit. I forget what season it is, so I don't know if we're gonna be in that right away, but we can always add more depending on the season. And then for our cold weather, mm -hmm. I think I want to have at least two, because I want to have like a, a coat and oh, I love this outfit. I want to have an actual coat and then I want to have that little green sweater with the cows on it. That is my dream. Does this not come in all green? Of course it doesn't. That's truly devastating. It's not green enough. Are any of the coats green enough that you're seeing? I love this outfit. <laughs> I love the clothes from Growing Together. Chauvin and JT Mo, thank you for the subs. Um, maybe a full body outfit. Oh, that's true. There is like a coat like this that we could wear. Hmm. And that's kind of a safe bet. Um, we can get a little hat. What would you classify as Rose for not so berry? I, I think of Rose as being pink. Or sorry, not pink. Oh my god. <laughs> I think of Rose as being red. A lot of what I was going to say, but I smush it together, is that a lot of people think of it as being pink, but if I were you, I would do roses red because there is a pink generation separate. Is what I was trying to say before I sm smush it all together, but I, I would think of uh, the rose gen as pink. Or <laughs> red, oh my God, <laughs> it's not pink. Not pink, red. Rose is usually red to me. Um, it's kind of what I uh, usually would do, but you can do whatever you want. What is wrong with me? Guys, I'm falling apart right now. <laughs> yeah. I said so many things just then, and none of them made sense. Um, you played Rose's Pink? Yeah, a lot of people do. Um, the reason that I would suggest you not is just because there is a pink generation later. And I, I pictured when I was writing it uh, for mm. of Rose being red, but it doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. It's not like there's a um, a test or something, you know? 
gloves? Oh, we can do gloves. I never give my Sims gloves. There's not really that many green ones, though. Oh, these are kind of green. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good. It's like you're actually out and ready for the cold. Is there no red generation? Well, the rose is the red generation. Like, when I wrote it, we picked plum for purple as well. <laughs> Just being fancy with the names. But when I wrote it, rose was red. But some people don't play it that way. It doesn't matter. Um, but, like, that it is the red gen is the rose gen, so... Um, that's what I would mm -hmm. suggest, but you don't have to do that. If they wore a bucket hat with the hot weather outfit. Oh, <gasps> fun Ooh. idea. Is that one green enough? That's kind of our only option. Do you think the colors are bad together? Ah. Uh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You think it matches? Okay. What about the seasons one? Is there a seasons one? Oh, I don't like the seasons one as much. We could do that though. Mm. I like the shape of this hat better is why I say that. But we could do it. We could also pick mm. a separate hot weather outfit that is specifically designed to match that hat. We're never gonna get out of cast. <laughs> but we could, on purpose, do a... Watermelon? We could do this on purpose, though. I don't know. That's boring, I don't like that one. It's too... Stripey. That's very... Lime green. I think I I think I like the watermelons actually. I think I like the watermelon. <laughs> Should we do some shorts then? <laughs> I don't know. I don't like them. I don't like any of them. Oh, oh. Moss does wear a lot of skirts, but I don't think that these look good with the. Hmm. I don't know. There's something about the cut of the shirt that I feel like doesn't match any of the skirts, you know? Uh -huh. We could just do some plain shorts, though. They don't have to be, like, anything too fancy. Like, we could just do some, like, denim shorts, and that would also be fine, I think. I don't- I don't think it matches the hat. I don't know what to do. Green sandals, maybe? I'm really overthinking it. I want something that makes the hat look really cute. I like the watermelon shirt, though, so maybe I should just commit to it. Okay. So there's our two hot weathers. I like this Ooh. one as the main hot weather. Okay, so here's Moss's outfits. This is their first everyday outfit. Their second everyday outfit. Here's their prom outfit and their regular formal outfit. Here's our athletic wear, our okay. sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, hot weather, second hot weather, and cold weather. Oh, I was gonna do two. I'll just do one for now. We can always add more later. Okay, an hour later, I think Moss's outfits are ready. <laughs> Erica Chauvin, thank you for the subs, both of you. Um, has problem been fixed yet? Uh, I don't really know what specifically you're asking, but the answer is probably no. <laughs> it's pretty much the same as before, so. We did it! We got through Cass successfully! <laughs> we made it! <laughs> With minimal bad things happening during it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <sighs> okay, then we can save the game, too. If we lost this, I may cry. Nice. As soon as it loads. Save. <laughs> okay. Whew, we're fine. <laughs> 
Dan is watching Dan clips. What, like he's going through his own clips, like a Dan highlight reel? That's cute. I like that. Should you make pizza for dinner? Oh yeah, definitely. For sure. Okay, so... Moss! Oh, I love their outfit. Okay, that's cute. Um, I probably won't make too many serious adjustments to Moss's bedroom. There's a handful of things that I want to replace. Like, that stuff can probably stay. We'll just get rid of some of the toys, you know? Like, we'll keep most of Moss's room probably, you know, as it is, I guess. I'm looking specifically now for posters that are green. The game class is this as green poster, so we can do that. <gasps> Frog rug? But we have a moss rug. So there's no need for a frog rug when you have a moss rug. I may get a double bed. Depending on if I can find one that I don't think is ugly. What is that? I've never seen that before. I think I like it. Kind of has like avocado vibes almost, I would say. So that's good, I guess. Kind of looks like the moss on the floor. <laughs> it actually kind of looks like our moss rug. <laughs> okay, I don't really want those anymore. We could probably swap this back out for, for like that again. Moss has their little bookshelf. I don't know. The greens in this game are intense. Oh yeah, we really have, um, we've committed to the green thing as well, so that's not helping. <laughs> this room is, is very green. The light is green. The room is green. We have really, really embraced all things green <laughs> as we are doing this. I like that, the little uh, cart with some stuff for them. I think I would like to use these too. Although I don't know if it looks weird on that wall. This might be better for a different wall. Like, we'll figure that out later. Any of the posters could pass as green given the lighting that we have in this room. So that's good too, I guess. Um, well, so Moss, I might also give them a like more gamer computer type of situation because they're gonna have um oh that doesn't fit how i want it to at all very rude very 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 rude but they're gonna be like in the tech guru career and stuff so it's probably good for us to and get them a, a nice big PC setup. Of course, it doesn't come in green, but it's okay. It's okay. Studio Ray, sweet creature. Erica, thank you for the subs. Um, I was thinking maybe a cork board. Is there a green computer? There might be. I'm sort of tempted to not have a green computer in favor of having the, like, gaming computer because we do have like a green laptop but i kind of like this oh fake minecraft poster in high school years yes yes there is yes there is high school years there's um oh that could pass as green enough i would say do we put that like mainly behind the bed and then maybe try and mix and match some stuff again Okay. Maybe Moss has won some awards. I don't know. We can get like a, a gallery wall sort of thing. I probably shouldn't put too much more there because it's looking kind of busy already. Um, I'm worried about putting too much. Should there be like a... Well, okay. So 
the not so very rules. Let me read them to you again for this generation so you know what he what they're going to need to do. Um, so squeamish, geek and cheerful, computer with aspiration, tech guru career. We have to master mixology, video gaming and programming skills. We're obviously not gonna be starting mixology stuff yet, <laughs> but we also have to accept every invitation to parties and outings with our friends. So we have to be quite social. So maybe it would be nice if we had like some, oh, we have a lot of stuff we can sell. Look at that from the detective career, this computer. Should we swap it out for what we have in here? I never used that one. That one's kind of cool. Oh, oh, Moss can have their first ever um, postcard. <laughs> so they're into like tech stuff and parties. What if they had a TV? What if we got them a TV and like a game console? That could be cool. We could get like a beanbag chair or something for them to sit there and watch it. Um, not really feeling obsessed with any of those things. Whoa, maybe I'll swap this out. I guess anything that is white will will look green enough because of the lighting, so. We don't need to worry about it too much. I wish that tile table was a bit more on like the lime green side, but it's fine. We could do the other, the bigger tile table. Oh, it's too big. Let's just do white. We'll get simple, because then I have enough space for a TV. Thoughts on that? I think it's perfect. The console does in fact also come in green. So, <laughs> we can use that. Um, maybe I'll put this here and get like a plant or something. Penguin TV is kind of iconic. I'm actually like really jealous of Moss right now with the Penguin TV. <laughs> I like it. We've made a lot of money. We actually earned money from selling some of the stuff that we had before too. That's not green enough. How about this? <laughs> Annabelle Archer, introverted, thanks for the subs. Frog chair is like a solid idea. The only problem with the frog chair is that the frog chair is like very much an outside chair. So I don't know if that is bad for us to sit in a frog chair and play our games. I don't know. I kind of like it though. Maybe it's not bad. I think it's good for a teen's room too. Should we give them some like mess? Cause we can look through more of the high school year stuff. I don't know if Moss is messy. Well, Moss might not be messy, but Moss is certainly mossy, so. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really dumb joke. <laughs> so Moss can be messy too, how about that? There is like some gamer clutter too. Those things aren't very mossy, are they? That might work though from the everyday clutter kit. Um, we can get like the headphones for our desk. Oh, those slot, I guess in a sort of nice-ish space. So we can put those there. Maybe Moss has like a pair of glasses on the desk too. Extra glasses. Oh, here's an idea. Do any of the little tiny ottoman things, like, do these come in green enough colors that we could put it? That one's green, but it's not as green as I'm hoping for. I'm just picturing myself scooting a little ottoman underneath this thing. Cause that might be nice. Cause you could like pull it out and use it to, um, I don't know, have extra friends over or something in real life, obviously not in The Sims. No such thing in The Sims. Okay. 
Something on this wall then. Oh guys, I don't know if we have enough. Oh, I forgot I put the, these plants here. I don't know if we have enough space for the pride flags on the wall. I don't know if we've left enough room. I kind of, I always get kind of like icked out by putting stuff on the wall on top of the, the polka dot wallpaper. I know that makes literally no sense, but anytime I think about putting something on top of this wallpaper, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I think that the art always looks weird on it. <laughs> can you size it down? Oh, you can size it down. Oh, we can size it down and like fit it in the gallery wall sort of then. That works, right? I don't know which pride flag you guys wanted to use. Um, I've seen a lot of various suggestions. I don't know um, which one would be best because I've seen people say so many different options. Um, there was talk specifically of the non-binary one and the agender one I've seen most people saying recently, but um, I don't know what the best one to use is. We can use the agender one. Not this one, lost. This one? It's green, <laughs> so. We can use that one. Um, okay, what do we put on this wall then? Um, any other like skill type things or maybe a mirror? I guess a mirror might not be too bad either. We can get something hung on the wall. Like, we could just use this. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh, sometimes I like to, oh, maybe we could give them some shoes. I was gonna say, sometimes I like to put, um, like, by the mirrors on the floor, I'll put like a little bit of makeup or something. Like they would sit on the floor and do their makeup there. Um, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I might want to get one of the little stools. You know the one, this thing. I could probably try and raise this up and set it on there. As if it were a place to store the makeup. Of course it doesn't come in green. We can use that color though. Aoife, why do I feel like, I think there is, um, a like pride legacy challenge or if not people just do that kind of thing that is a fun idea though i think i swear to you i've seen rules for this challenge already i don't remember who made it but like concept being every generation is like a different pride flag theme yeah momo did it that's what i was thinking momo did it did momo write it or did they just do it um road to rainbow is the name of it yeah but the idea is that um all the generations are different like pride flag themes kind of, I guess, sort of. <laughs> um, there's a lot of different things like that out there. People write a lot of stuff like that. So it's kind of fun. If you look, there's there's so many cool Sims challenges out there. Like there's just so much to do in this game. People write some really creative, cool things. Um, oh, Road to Rainbow is the one we're talking about, but Momo also plays a pride themed not so berry. So two different things, but... Um, there you go. <laughs> that answers that question. Um, do Momo and Emrys help, help write it? That's really cool. A lot of people work together on it. I don't think it was just one person, so. Uh, but you can find that online, obviously, if you're looking for rules for it. There's so many legacy challenges out there. Um, all right. Two hours into the stream, we are officially ready to unpause the game. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We did play a little bit before we started. We, we didn't... Uh-oh. That's in the thingy. Move that over that in the closet. Closet? Fridge. In the fridge. Don't place wrong. You clicked on a random YouTube video to find the rules and it was Emrys' VOD. There you go. <laughs> Easy access to the rules. Okay, so you, you want to gossip, spread rumors, and mess around in the cuddle cards. I forgot I picked this one. Be mean on social bunny five times, break up, and have an enemy rival. Okay, so we picked this aspiration as a teen specifically because this sim has to have five enemies and five friends. So, um, what is a cuddle cart? Oh, <laughs> the cuddle carts are one of the rides. You know, if you have high school years, there's like a little fairground sort of area on the pier. 
Um, they have a Ferris wheel and like the scary haunted ride, haunted house. And there's the cuddle carts, which is like a romance ride. Um, and you can woohoo in any of them. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> when do they meet Elphaba? We could place Elphaba now. I don't think we'll date Elphaba just yet because I want to have a bad breakup as a teen and I don't want it to be with Elphaba, but. Um, VOD means video on demand chocolate waffles. So when people talk about VODs, anything you see on YouTube that isn't live is a VOD. Like anything that isn't live is VOD content. It's on demand video content. You don't really hear people say that though, unless they're talking specifically about like live stream re-uploads. So this video right now that you're watching as we speak is live. But when you, if you watch it tomorrow, when I'm not live, it would be like the VOD. So most people that stream, um, they kind of use that as the way to distinguish. Um, so this is the sim that Christine made for us. Uh, Christine made us a family. Um, so we have like the two, her two dads, her and her cat named Tofu, um, and our sim Alphaba. And this is who we're going to marry. Is the idea. <laughs> um, and she's green! <laughs> um, where should you live, Alphaba? I don't know. Do you want to live in a big fancy house? I think this one is empty though. So maybe I should pick somewhere else. Um, we used to live in Willow Creek. Oh, so sad. Maybe you can live in the new world. We should live in Glimmerbrook. We're literally spellcasters. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't know what has just come over me. We could get this house, which I think is empty right now. <laughs> Um, hold on. <laughs> when the last sims in there die, the whole house goes away. <laughs> All their furniture goes away. <laughs> so, um, I think that Alphaba uses she, her pronouns, but Christine's gonna have to confirm for us because Christine's the one who made her. Um, she does use she, her pronouns. There you go. Okay, turn off neighborhood stories for that family. Well, if she dies, she dies, you know? We can just get a new one. And the dads are both he, him pronouns. Um, if she dies, she dies is a terrible way of describing this. Uh, Rock Ridge Canyon. I'm hoping that somebody just uploaded it without editing anything in it. That looks like they just uploaded. Oh no, they edited it. Never mind. You edited it. Edited it. I can't speak. This one looks like a straight upload. Oh, that one is edited. Never mind. Um, we also would have my. This one looks like the plain version, unedited, right? Or we place down my Reno. What do you think I call? There we go. Guys, I feel like such a every time I I like am looking for one of my own builds and I filter my most popular and it comes up. I feel like such a brat, like such a brat when I'm like, oh. Let me just filter my most popular and then it comes up. <laughs> it makes me feel like such a brat. We don't have enough money. <laughs> but it works sometimes. Not every time, sometimes. Um, okay. <laughs> I like the fountain, that's nice. 2019 we did this. Let's look around, we'll see what it's like. Certainly better. I mean, anything's better than what they had, so. Of course, it's raining as well, so you can't really see. Ooh, pool's cool. I forgot I did that. I remember now. On the inside. Oh, I don't like it. Interesting staircase I had done. I don't really know how I feel about that either. Hmm. They have a bar. Okay, Rock Ridge Canyon, they're rich now. I like it. Elphaba's room, I guess, is this one. <gasps> no, this one is Elphaba's room. Okay, she's got skills and everything because Christine was playing with her. Let's go back now. We'll get to know her then and be, be her friend. We can have like a, a friends to lovers storyline or something. <laughs> We'll know each other in high school and then officially start dating when they're older. 
Oh, I didn't check it for milestone stuck. They should, Christine, because the, um, even like the career will stick on the gallery. So it should be all right. Um, renovate the renovation for a video. Oh my goodness, making fun of my own Sims renovations. <laughs> Nobody else lives out here. That's sad. Well, guess what, guys? We're finally gonna get a spellcaster grave. <laughs> Where do I live, Tartosa? Yes, no cat stuff in the house. Oh, they'll be fine. No, she's only a teen. She's not a young adult. Uh, Christine uploaded her as a teen. So now she's the exact same age as, um, as Moss is. Because Moss just aged up today. Um. Oh, did you really, Jamek? That's so cool. <laughs> um, that's a really cool job that you have. That's really impressive that, that you work in a horse hospital. Anyone who, um works in literally in in medicine in any field even for animals i i find that very very magical and impressive and you should be really proud of yourself so um vets are uh life-saving for people's beloved family members so thank you for what you do um oh god now i'm thinking about bad things sorry mm. um i told you guys that uh my parents dog one of our dogs we have three um, Captain, he, uh, had, like, a cancerous growth on his toe, <laughs> and he had a vet appointment yesterday, they put him under anesthesia to, like, do scans and stuff, um, and he's gonna have to get his toe amputated, which is unfortunate, um, but they also found some lumps elsewhere that are alarming, and we're waiting on diagnostics for, so that's kind of my life update as of yesterday, um, Ah, <laughs> um, yikes. <laughs> so that's kind of where we're at, um, at the moment. Um, no one's happy about that. Very unpleasant. Yeah, they were worried that they were going to have to amputate his whole leg. Um, but it sounds like that's not going to be the case. We shall see. Um, we shall see, I guess. Still waiting on some re results, but, um, yeah, not ideal. My family has been been going through it <laughs> recently we had a cat pass away of cancer like two months ago and we have three dogs three big dogs who are getting elderly um one of them is 11 one is nine and one is seven captain is seven he's the younger one um so it's just uh <laughs> yikes <laughs> you know <laughs> huge yikes um but captain is the one who um is going through it, so, um, yeah, yeah, even if his leg needs to be amputated, a lot of dogs have that, um, and they're still, like, okay and, and manage for a long time, so it's all right, but, um, anyway, your dog has three legs, yeah, a lot of people's dogs, um, are, are, uh, tripods, and they, they, uh, usually adapt pretty well, so, but we'll see what happens, um, oh, no, not that kind, snails, <laughs> These are more alarming. <laughs> you know how, like, a lot of animals get kind of lumpy as they age? There's that, but there's also, um, strange growths on your lungs. <laughs> Which is more what Captain's dealing with right now, <laughs> so... <laughs> um, no, it's a little worse than you think. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be fine. I'm sure it will... We'll take this as it comes and it's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. I'm trying not to think about it too much. So, um... Yeah, big yikes. <laughs> so, no, there's not a counter missing. It's um, it's a full cabinet. It goes away when the walls are cut away, but it is a full cabinet. There's no counter missing there. You know, it looks weird from the cutaway. I know. I guess I could try to put a counter in it, like with move objects. It's a little bit clippy, but I mostly play with the walls cut away, so it's not too annoying. And then people won't be as confused anymore, right? That's probably the best thing that we could do. Okay. Pulp is very hungry. Well, then eat pulp. I don't know what to tell you. It's right over here. Silly. No, Moss's hair isn't a recolor. It's um, it's just default. It's the Terrible. default green swatch. Oofa. So. Um. Okay. There you go, pulp. Moss, do you want to do your homework before? Oh, it's a Friday night. Never mind. Let's go out. Never mind. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Veronica, thank you for the sub gift. Uh, I'm magic, thanks for the five months. 
Yeah, without getting into it too much, Mufi, um, uh, sort of as the way you feel, it's it's hard with animals because a lot of times, like, the cancer treatment is not what is best for them. You know, like, it's maybe like what we want for them to be around longer, but if it's only gonna be like, you know, three, six months longer and they're gonna be like horrible and so sick and dealing with that, like chemo is so hard, it's so hard. Um, and I don't know, it's it's hard to know what's best. That's not the discussion with Captain right now. We don't know what's gonna happen yet. <laughs> we'll see as we get more diagnostics, but um, it's really hard to know what's best. Um, I'll tell you when uh, our cat passed away a couple months ago from cancer, we did not, well, we found it really late anyway, um, but they thought he had an allergy problem, <laughs> the vets, and then it was like, oops, it's cancer, <laughs> like months later, <laughs> yikes. Um, but anyway, uh, we, we didn't go through chemo, um, so. Yeah, it's just, it'll, it just, I mean, they don't understand. It's raining. It's terrible to be out here. I don't want to be here anymore. They don't understand and it makes them so sick. And like, if any of you know a, a human who has gone through chemo, it's so hard on them. And at least they can choose to opt into that and they know what they're getting into, you know? But with the, these poor animals, like, they don't know. They don't understand. And they're already sick and it's just, it's really hard, so. Um... Anyway, no, you'll be okay, Vibrant. Uh, it was a unclear allergy problem. <laughs> if your cat has an official diagnosis, you'll be all right. I don't want you to panic or anything. Okay, I came here because I wanted to try and meet some people because we don't know anybody. Ooh, Crystal Grove. Let's dance with Crystal. I'm sorry to talk about this. It's just kind of what I've been going through this week. So it's been really on my mind. We don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> Um, Leo, thank you for the 15 month resub, and Kaylee, and Veronica, and Magic, and Evil Cotton Candy. Savvy Charlotte, thank you for the subs. Evil Cotton Candy. <laughs> okay, um, I'll talk to this sim. Maybe I should go look in Cass and see what she's like. Marion? Hmm. Marion Crystal. Let me see. We may end up dating one of these people just because they're there. Whose cat is sick? Oh, <laughs> one of my family's cats. He's not sick anymore. So maybe. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I like her purple hair. What? Oh. <laughs> it's true. Um, the joke is that it's because he died. Uh -huh. You gotta laugh. You have to laugh. It's been a really rough year for us, my family, <laughs> with all this. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to make a joke, you know? Sometimes you just gotta laugh. Should we do a styled look? Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's the same thing as me. <laughs> I said ooh and then she said ooh. <laughs> okay. Crystal Grove. Mm. <laughs> There's your everyday outfit. I like that with your hair. I think that's nice. Um, oh, this is cute too. Oh, we'll go like very purple. <laughs> Are any of these things purple? That one's kind of purple. Ooh. Uh-huh. Um, yep. Purple. Party Guaz? again with the purple. Okay. See Bafa. That's not purple. That's okay. Something's gotta be. Oh, that's kind of uh -huh. purple. Yaba. Um, <laughs> this could be the girl that Moss breaks up with. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. It depends if we talk to her and we like her. She kind of, I mean, she's adventurous and music lover. She's not like evil or anything. Sometimes it's fun when they have some real bad traits. It gives you like more of a reason <laughs> to do the dumping. But. Um, anyway, I'll see what the other one looks like. Moss Grove is a great name. Oh, if Moss took that Sim's last name, it's too late. We're not going to date them. We already have a Sim picked out for our future, but, <laughs> um, if we, if we had Moss date them, Moss Grove is a fun full name. Hi Jess, how are you? I know I would dump someone if they were lactose intolerant or evil. The two biggest red flags. Of course. 
This is what you need to watch out for in, <laughs> in people. Evil lactose intolerance. <laughs> Avoid at all costs. <laughs> okay, I have to switch back to moss again. <sighs> or if they have the Batu aspiration, that too. <laughs> so the three biggest red flags is liking Star Wars. <laughs> Being evil and being lactose intolerant. <laughs> uh oh. You know, I say it out loud, it seems kind of mean. <laughs> but that's okay. Oscar Michelson. Oh, we may date Oscar Michelson. I just gotta see what my Oscar's like real fast. <laughs> if there's any red flags, I'll date him. I'm looking for red flags right now. A group noosh. Cornelius. Here's Oscar. Goofball and genius. Mmm, those are nice traits. Sage Michelson. You have a nice name. We could maybe date Oscar Michelson. Cornelius is uh, kind of scary because it's giving President Snow. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too close for my liking. <laughs> I don't know about that. Let me see if I could randomize you some likes and dislikes. You like black, alternative music. You hate family motivated Sims. Hmm. Uh huh. You hate family? Hmm. Well, that's not gonna work for our legacy challenge, is it? You like gossip an outdoorsy fashion. You also enjoy knitting. Oh, no, 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 you hate knitting? <gasps> Who hates knitting? You hate knitting and children? <laughs> Immediate no, immediate no. Um, what should you wear? Wait, you have a family aspiration. What do you mean you hate fam- what? <laughs> he has a family aspiration. Okay, well, whatever. If that's what you want, I'm not here to judge. You do whatever you like. Maybe you have like a cool Happy werewolf outfit. Durfna? Oh, I like it. Maybe they like werewolves. Sula. They're a lot of red. Uh -huh. I don't know if you'd wear that. Wait, Bo. Okay, perhaps a different top. Oh, mm. that's not what I wanted. Like this, maybe? I don't know, I don't really care. Prom is a different vibe than what we maybe need to worry about otherwise. Ah, um, a, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay, party wear? I'll try and do like one of those werewolf things again. Uh-huh. Okay. Swimwear? Maybe like... Huh. Oh, who knows. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What if he likes and wears Moss's least favorite color? Oh, I guess that would have been fun. I could have made it so that Moss hates uh, red. Soon up. Maybe I should add that in. Uh, see, yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Yeah, when you age up teens and they randomize with the hates children trait, that is funny because it's like a teen saying they hate children as if you were not a child literally 15 seconds ago. Like, love you, bestie, but I really want to watch Drag Race, so I might have to leave soon. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Go out. Go wherever you need to go. <laughs> Drag Race starts tomorrow, right? Season 16. Correct me if I'm wrong. I assume you want to watch old Drag Race. Yeah. Drag Race returns tomorrow. Big day. I'm real excited. We can't stream for too long tomorrow. Guess what? You know why? Drag Race. <laughs> we can't miss the start. It's important. Oh, wait. I wasn't going to be live tomorrow. Dang it! Oh. Stupid. I'm going to be, I have a stupid appointment. So I'm going to be stupid not home in time. Oh, 
whatever. Next week we can't stream long on Friday because of Drag Race. <laughs> Why is being lactose intolerant a red flag? I'm also lactose intolerant. Oh, you misunderstand. We're joking about Sims because lactose intolerant Sims poop on the floor um, and we're applying it to humans. I, I, everybody's lactose intolerant. Like, like the vast majority of people. It's, the humans are not, we, us and lactose don't usually mix. So, don't take it personally. <laughs> like everybody is, you know? Oh, that sim's gone now. Okay, I'll make a little uh, teen club. Teen club. It can be a little fish. This way I can meet those people. There should be actually a lot of teens in this world, so. There's Cornelius Michelson. Mm. That was Marion. I was talking to that. Oh, I almost talked to that sim. I guess I didn't actually. That's Oscar, who I just gave a makeover to and is now suddenly gone. And the other sim's not here. What traits did the first one have? The girl with the pink purple hair. Do you remember what trait she had? At least one of them. Adventurous, that's right. Um, Moss has the squeamish trait. So I shall do this. It's okay if that kicks him out. I just need to get Crystal. Because then I should be able to add Oscar back because he was right there. Okay, that's all that really matters is those three. Um, we could probably add... Oh, Roy is a werewolf. Walter. I like the name Aspen. Edith is an, oh, never mind. Sorry, Edith. <laughs> I was gonna say Edith is a nice name too, but too bad, so sad. <laughs> okay, these are our new friends. We can go home now. Always forget clubs are a thing. Oh, I need to get Elphaba. Oh, I'll do that at home. That is actually really important. <laughs> Christine, what trace does Elphaba have? <laughs> We're supposed to marry that one, so. <laughs> We're gonna need to have her in the club. Yeah, I like to use the clubs just to, um, just to like meet people and form like social groups. I don't really use it to have like a book club, but I like to form social groups that way. It's nice because it's just a way to like meet classmates because normally in real life your sims would know other teens like they would meet people at school and know other teens but in the sims you don't know anybody unless you see them around so I like to use the club almost to pretend that they're like classmates of mine. Okay so we need to add trait adventurous trait Genius and trait squeamish. It's okay if we have that. Then Elphaba gets added. And then we can add anybody else. Okay, I liked Aspen. Or we could skip out on Afton and Aspen and meet new people. We could meet Duke. Molly Granola is probably a distant cousin of ours because of the, the name Granola. Oh, there we know. We know more people now. Okay, that's good. We had a sim called Bran a few generations ago, and his family last name was Granola. So, that Molly person is a distant, distant relative, apparently. <laughs> okay, you use the bathroom. Oh, never mind. Use the bathroom. You can just go to sleep. You didn't even take care of any of your needs. Okay. Bran was the start of the lactose intolerance. Yeah, I wonder if we could find her. Um, let me look quick. So, here's Bran. Um, he, this sim must be related on this granola side. So, ooh, how are you people still alive? We've gone through a lot more. What was that Sim's name, Molly? 
Yeah, there she is. So Molly is our, Molly was Barbie's cousin. So Molly was our grandmother's cousin. So that kind of throws us off a ways back, but she was our grandma's cousin. Except she's a lot younger than our grandma, so grandma probably didn't know her. Interesting how she's still alive. Well, they just had kids later. It happens. Um, depending on like when people in your family have kids, like, like even in real life, you might be 35 and then your mom has a baby. I don't know about 35, but you know, like you, and then your kids would be very distant in age. And so you're, you know, um, yeah, so like Bran's parents had kids later and then those kids had kids later and all of a sudden they're a lot younger, so. Um, in your save, your heir's parents had a baby the day before they aged up into elders. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, anyway, age can be kind of a weird thing with that. Okay. Whereas like a lot of our sims, we were having kids like quite quickly in comparison, so. Um, oh, and we also, you know what else? We aged up a couple sims early. I aged up Moss a little. Oh no, no, I didn't age up Moss early. I played on short lifespan, so they all would have gotten a little bit older. So never mind. But sometimes we age sims up early too, so. Your siblings range from 35 to 17. Yeah, it happens. My grandpa, he, he had a sister who was like 12 years younger than him or something. I forget the exact number. Maybe even 16 years younger than him. Um, so it happens a lot in real life too. And then that same thing happens where like, you know, your kids are very far apart in age and then their kids are very far apart in age. And anyway, um, so, oh, you're experiencing burnout. No, you're not. <laughs> I actually reject that. Why are you not tired at all? Your dress is clipping into the table. Okay, you can come play a little bit more of this then. Just for, for at least a little bit. And then we'll go to bed. That's the way. You just aged your heir into an elder instead of aging up your toddler. <gasps> you clicked on the wrong sim. Oh, that's terrible. That is terrible. I'm so sorry. Uh oh, sorry. No, I have yawned. Someone asked to see Pulp. I can show you Pulp. Pulp looks kind of scary right now. Yeah, just as I suspected. Pulp cam. <laughs> you okay? Why is Pulp always here? Is he immortal? Yeah, Pulp, um, I give them age down treats. So Pulp will never die. I don't know if I am capable of handling that right now. So Pulp is here to stay. Pulp has outlived a few pets so far. Um, maybe someday I'll let Pulp pass on and stop uh, making them stay here with me, but that day is not today. So. Pulp is an immortal otherworldly being. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Princess? Um, cause she's an entertainer. She wears, uh, this costume cause she does, she's a princess. She dresses up as a princess. Um, cause her name is Princess and... So she dresses up as a princess at work, and so she wears a princess dress to work. So. The Sims talking in their sleep, scary. Anyway, that's why. I First we were a clown, and then we got promoted, so we became a princess. I don't know what we'll do next, but we keep picking new outfits for our various promotions. <laughs> I sort of picture her as being like one of those birthday party princesses, yeah. Um. So, <laughs> that's what she's been doing. We might become like, I don't know, a fairy next or something. Cause we have the fairy costume, that could be fun. A pirate. <laughs> There's many options. What happened to the alien baby? Oh, nothing. We're still pregnant. I guess we haven't taken a pregnancy uh, test. So we have to wait until we find out that Lincoln is pregnant. Lincoln, um, Lincoln was uh, abducted by aliens 
and is now pregnant with an alien baby at the moment. But he doesn't know that yet. <laughs> so. Anyway. <laughs> Casey, Jack, thank you both for the subs. That was in the beginning of the stream, yeah. It was a pretty uh, rash decision. He wasn't actually abducted. I used a mod to set him to be pregnant. But we're pretending he was abducted. So now we're gonna have an alien baby. But when it happens, when he gets pregnant, we're gonna say, oh my God, he's pregnant. What? I'm so shocked. And we'll pretend that it was really interesting and cool and that he got abducted, okay? <laughs> as soon as the thing pops up, we'll be like, whoa, this is wild. Yeah. That happened to your gray gen and they had twins? Oh no. My gray gen was an alien baby. My gray gen's mom was an alien. So. Okay. Yeah, your sims, they don't get affected by aliens very often. You can sort of encourage it to happen more if you have get to work specifically. If you have get to, get to work and some of the like alien stuff, like this satellite dish, you can encourage yourself to get abducted more often this way. Um, like if I have him, uh, contact aliens, higher chance of it happening to us. So when you're playing with that stuff, you have like a higher chance of getting abducted. Uh, get leftovers. Okay, would you like to go to take a shower? I don't like your level of the career that you have. Oh, also the alien pizza from Home Chef Hustle. That can make them get abducted more often, too. That is true. Big summer blowout. Okay. I think today... Oh, 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 look. Moss is going to cook for the first time. And there's poop on the floor right there. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you need, to, you need to have get to work to have aliens. I don't know why I just said, if you have get to work, you can use the thing. Yeah, you need to have get to work to have aliens, but... Um, that's how it works. Which was a way to get subtitles? There is! Um, so if you hover over the stream, there's a little CC button. There are auto closed captions on my Twitch stream. Um, maybe someone in chat, or C told them. Um, that way you might make it easier for you to know without having to hear me say it all out. But there, there are closed captions. Um, no fire? Very impressive. Grab a serving. You can eat that, then we can take a shower. Um, you can get it on mobile. It works differently on different phones. On some of them, you need to turn it on in your settings, in your like phone settings, um, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, it does work on mobile too. So the captions aren't like the greatest yeah. thing in the world. Um, there's no grammar, but they're pretty good about tracking what I say. I'm looking at them right now and it's got everything correct so far. It hasn't messed up any of the words. So it helps a little oh. bit. Um, oh, it's the best that we can silly, do, silly. given the fact that we only have the auto ones for live content. I, I um, pay a friend of mine to do actual closed captions on all my YouTube videos, too, so. But they're pretty good for what it is, I think. Um, they're, uh, they're decently good. So. Do the best that you can, you know? A lot of people on Twitch use uh, closed captions through, like, a browser extension. Um, but what I have is a plugin into my OBS, and I like this better because it uses Twitch's built-in CC feature instead of, like, a weird browser extension. Not that they're weird, but it's, like, harder to use, I think. Less, um, uh, less user-friendly for the average person, because this way it has a regular Twitch CC button, like, like what happened when there's a real captions on something else. I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, oh, look at the goat. <laughs> I just saw it underneath my camera. Um, this is the CC button right here. Um, does the best that it can, but uses Twitch's actual CC, so. Um, okay, the next Among Us stream. I'm not sure yet. We haven't really, um, we haven't really booked the next Among Us stream yet. We'll have to figure that one out. I'll have to talk to them. We usually do it about once a month, um, so I don't really know what our plan will be. But we shall see. Um, okay. Okay. You use the bathroom and take a shower. Then we could probably maybe go to the park or something and- Oh no, we should go to the pool! We could go to the pool and try and bring some friends out. And see if we could uh, hang out with some people. Because we have to make some friends, so. 
Am I gonna stream more House Flipper? I would like to. I really enjoyed House Flipper. Um, it's a fun game. I played the new one yesterday for the first time. I played the old one loads, but I played the new one for the first time yesterday and I enjoyed it. I saw someone earlier, oh my god, they asked this like maybe 45 minutes ago and I didn't answer it out loud, but I thought it in my head. Somebody asked if I like House Flipper better or City Skylines 2 better and like which one they should buy. I would absolutely tell you to buy House Flipper over City Skylines. City Skylines 2 runs a lot worse on most people's computers um, and it's a little bit more overwhelming to get started in. They're very different games. If you only had to get one, I think House Slipper 2 is more likely to be long-term enjoyable for you and easier for you to play and like easier for your computer to run. I love City Skylines, but I, I think that um, you'll probably get more use out of House Slipper. So. Um. I'll be playing Fae Farm. I don't know. I I have such complicated feelings about Fae Farm because I really, really enjoyed the gameplay of Fae Farm that I did do. But I think the problem with that game is that like the characters are not enticing at all. Like there's no good uh, dialogue. They all say the same things and they only have like one sentence they each say. It's like really... Um, they're cool looking, because there's like fairies and stuff, but Fae Farm doesn't have as enticing of characters as I would like out of a game like that. I really loved the fairy mines and a lot of the gameplay in Fae Farm, but it's not, like if I had to pick that or like Coral Island or like one of these other games that's kind of similar that has come out recently, um, there's like no substance to the characters in Fae Farm. So it's not as fun, I don't think. I really enjoyed the gameplay that I did do. I got like, I don't know, I played it a bunch. I streamed it a lot. Um, but if I had to pick between that and something else, I probably would pick something else. Um, not to say it's a bad game. It's just, it didn't have necessarily what I needed out of it completely. Um, yeah, it's like bland dialogue and characters. The world was so cool. And seriously, the fairy minds that it has are really fun. <laughs> Like, really, really, really fun. I really enjoyed that part of it. Um, and like the unlocking and, and the progression and how I got my fairy wings. I found the story of that part really cool. Um, I had a lot of fun with that. Oh, oh, oh. We think we're gonna date this Sim, Oscar, as a teen. So. Claim to be prom royalty, I don't know. I did, um, I have a, quite a few VODs on my second channel of me playing Fae Farm. <gasps> Wowee, that sim is irresistible. Moss has a major crush on Oscar! Well, this, I couldn't have written the story better. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> That's perfect. We're not gonna date Oscar forever, but we'll date Oscar as a teen. Um, and then have a tragic breakup. Perfect plan. It's gonna end so badly for us. I love when that happens. <laughs> the game is doing exactly what I need it to do right now. Enemies to lovers? No. Lovers to enemies. Oh, you're having a lot of bugs in Coral Island with crashes? Really? I haven't had any crashes in Coral Island. Um, oh, that would be fun, Christine. I would like that. I would have a grand time doing that. Um, yeah, if you have to agree to invites, that includes the pre-prom get ready party. Although, would it be dumb of me to do that? Because then I would risk prom not working. I guess we have to prioritize. Whatever makes the most sense. But one of the rules for this generation is that we have to agree to every single invite. When we get invited out, we have to go. So, um, you had a couple of crashes in Coral Island, but since then it's in Velocity, I haven't had any many issues. That's good to know. I, I think that the early access having crashes makes sense. Um, does Duke have a crush on Elphaba? Oh, did you just see that? Oh my god, stop trying to steal my friend. It just said Duke has a crush on Elphaba? Oh no. It popped up? Oh no. Uh oh. So if you're popular, you're gonna be super busy? Yeah. 
I'm actually looking forward to it. Okay, go talk to Alphaba now. We need to have friends. I have my first friend now. I'm about to get my second. Tell a funny story. Claim Alphaba is a plant sim. <laughs> She's gonna be like, um, close, but not quite. <laughs> that actually feels mean compared to... <laughs> It's like kind of insensitive. <laughs> what is it? Cause she's green. What if Moss and Alphaba set their exes up? <gasps> oh my God! So Alphaba dates Duke. We date Oscar. We break their hearts, and then Duke and Oscar get together. That's that's the idea. I like that. I like that. Should we should we cheat on them? With each other. Are we back? Like, should oh. we cheat with Alphaba on him? That's terrible. Uh, Frangi, uh, I may, though. Uh, I may do just that. Oh, we do have the drama llama thing, so. Uh -huh. The dance takes place on Saturday evening at Copperdale High School. <laughs> do we have prom today or no? It is Saturday evening, but we haven't been to high school yet. Oscar wants to go to the prom with Moss as friends. Yes, I'll go. I'm ready. Oh my, this is very exciting. Okay, um, let's do some gossip. We have to gossip multiple times. So I will queue up some gossip for our aspiration. Oh. Cheat on them during prom, not this prom though. Yeah, I'm thinking like next weekend we do some cheating. So, yeah, I think I will end up going to prom today. And I guess that's okay, because it'll be a good chance for me to start dating Oscar, I guess. Um, okay, I'm trying to queue up some more gossiping. Oops. That's two out of five times, three out of five times, four out of five times, five out of five times. Okay. How do you spread a rumor? Click on a sim and select the rumor option. Okay. Mischief. Spread a nasty rumor. Come on. There we go. Now I have to mess around on the cuddle cards. Do you have to say yes if someone asks to move in for this gen? No, I. it's just meant to be for like social invites. So like, hey, you wanna come to the bar? Hey, you wanna go on a date? Hey, do you wanna do this? Hey, do you wanna do that? That's kind of the idea, is that you say yes to social invites. Moving in is way, way more than you need to sign up for. Just social outings um, and like, you know, events. Stay over guests? I'm gonna go with, cause that's new. I'm gonna go with yes. You should say yes to stay over guests. If someone asks to come over, you have to say yes to them. So if they want to come over, if you get a call, you gotta say yes. But just because, you know how sometimes they'll ask um, to like uh, be your boyfriend or to they'll ask to like propose or they'll ask to be your best friend. Like sometimes you get stuff like that. Um, I don't think you have to say yes to those. I think it's more, I was, when I wrote this, I was more envisioning, like, just going out a lot. Like, you're going to a party here, you're going to a cafe here, you're going to a date there. Like, I'm kind of more, um, picturing it like that. That was my intention when I wrote it. Um, why about career? Why about cloudy weather? So not for prom? Oh, like, if someone asked you as a prom date? I mean, I said yes here, um... But I don't think you necessarily- I mean, you could. I, I think you could say yes to any prom invites you get. I think it's kind of up to you. It was more meant to be like, like temporary stuff. It's supposed to be about social stuff. So. Um, okay, well we're becoming like very fast friends. It's actually really impressive. How long does it take me to write the challenge? Oh, I don't remember. Me and Zoe worked on it for a long time though. We would like get in Discord calls and stuff back then. Um, I guess we were probably, were we on Skype? We might've been on Skype. 
Um, <laughs> see, this is what I was worried about. This we to talk about this. I'll get to this in a second. But we wrote it over like probably a week or two. Not like a long time. But we spent a lot of time, like more than you might expect, I guess. Um, okay, here's what I'm worried about. When you say yes to the specifically the prom get together, sometimes prom glitches and doesn't let you go to prom. So what I'm worried about is if I say yes to this, I won't be able to go to prom. But also this is the first event that we've gotten asked for, but this seems like because this one is bugged, we should skip it. Like any other call I'd say yes to, but because these calls in particular are known to be bugged, I'm almost like, I'm worried about risking it, you know? So I think we'd skip this one, but any other, we would say yes to. I think we make the exception because it's bugged. Yeah? Um, but you could go to prom next week. Yeah, but I want to go to prom today. I want to go on a prom date with our almost boyfriend, so. I haven't been to school yet, so missing prom wouldn't be bad. That's true, but also I think that going to the prom today is kind of fun, because it's almost like a, what if we act like it's a school welcome party or something? We can pretend that it's like a special event. Yeah, hang out after is fine, but the, the thing before is what's bugged, you know? Okay, it's a school welcome party. <laughs> Miranda, be sub, March, thanks for the subs. I take some pictures of the elbow quick. Okay. Moochie Peachy? Could be homecoming. Yeah, homecoming is usually in the early ish parts of the year, so. I don't know. Jump into pool? You wanna do a swan dive? Do a flip. We'll do a backflip. Uh oh. I was beat to it by Lauren. Um, do a backflip. Come on. I'm actually really excited about this. Moss uses they, them pronouns, honey. Uh oh, you're gonna land on this lady. Uh oh, that's my boyfriend. What happened to him? He's in the floor. Okay, everybody watch closely. Oh no. That was not even close to being a flip. Yeah, homecoming is usually like around October-ish, right? Hated that in high school. Um, okay. Uh-oh, you jumped. My turn. Do a flip again. Ready, ready, ready. This is end of September. Oh, I don't know. It might be mine was too, I don't remember. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. How do you expect to do a backflip when you face that direction? Wait, look. <laughs> Shock and terror on their face. Okay. Oh, ouch again. Ouch again. You wanna go one more time? I think prom could start any second. Oh, uh oh. Why is this pool so bugged? Someone asked uh, if I built this pool. I did not. This is the pool that comes with get together. It's the default lot type. I'm on the wrong sim. <laughs> Sorry. I was not clicked on moss. That's why it wasn't working. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. That was embarrassing. I was on the wrong sim. Oh, you cannonballed successfully. So that's good. Okay. Is Moss our heir? Yeah, we think Moss will be the heir. We're, we are pretty certain Moss will be our heir. <gasps> Whoa, did you see that? Moss did a backflip. That was so cool. <laughs> that was so cool. Can I say I finished the fire thing too so I can finish the holiday, even though I didn't? The 100 baby challenge spreadsheet I have, how did I make it? I, I mean, just in Google Sheets, I worked on it, set it up. I don't really know how to answer the question. Okay, to prom with Moss. No! Ugh! Okay.
This is what I mean. Problem's bugged. Problem's bugged. It's because being on, like, I'm, it's because I'm not at home, I think. It's because I'm on the community lot. Okay, well, we'll spend the night with, um, with our almost boyfriend. We'll, like, hang out tonight on Saturday night. And then we'll go to the prom after party, and we'll try and make it seem like we've, um, gone to prom. Do you want to flirt? Do a bold pickup line, maybe? Blow a kiss, perhaps? They look at how close they became and how fast they did it. No, you can't just go to the lot. There's no prom happening when you do that. This is unfortunately a very known bug. Um, if only it were that easy. <laughs> Should I reveal my crush? This is gonna be a mistake. It might not be. Oh. Romance. Memories. Don't leave. Do you want to kiss? Do you want to kiss? I also just saw someone ask how I tap away bad moodlets, um, where I like right click stuff away. That's with a mod called UI Cheats Extension. You can delete mod or delete um things like that. Okay. Oh, James! This is my uncle. I'll get to know him. Is he a werewolf? No. No. He just wears werewolfy type stuff, I guess. Same thing with the fire task. I like right clicked on it to check it off. That's using a mod called UI Cheats. UI Cheats is a super useful mod for that reason. Um. Did you, Iggy? Oh no. <laughs> was everything okay? On on New Year's Day, um, there was a a huge um like uh, air quality issue because the smoke was all from the fireworks was just sitting over us. You know how when you open like the, um, on your phone, when you open the like weather app and it tells you the air quality, there was a, I'd never seen this before. There was a map of the air quality, solid red box. <laughs> it was like air quality, very poor, avoid exercise outside <laughs> for the whole day after New Year's Eve, all day on New Year's Day. Um, something, it has something to do with, like, the weather here was making the smoke just sit on us and not, like, go away and dissipate, but, um, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad that the, the, uh, smoke was so bad after the fireworks. Um, kind of was kind of scary. <laughs> it was bright red like that, and it smelled smoky all day as well. Um, and you wouldn't expect something so small as just people doing fireworks to cause that just a long time afterward, but, um... It does. <laughs> it does do that. Fireworks are not so good. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, should we keep? Ah. Do you want to do a suave kiss? Oh, we should take a photo with him from our big pool day, so we can put it on our wall at home. Oh. Oh. Right. Yeah. I will say, I was really relieved. The kittens were not really scared of the fireworks on, um, on New Year's Eve. I was really quite worried about it, that the kittens would be, like, terrified of the fireworks. Um, but they weren't. They were, they were pretty much okay. They, they didn't really seem scared. They were kind of just existing as normal. Um, which I was quite relieved by, because Snap always used to be really quite scared of them. She's not scared of them anymore, because she can't hear them anymore. <laughs> Um, but Snap used to be scared of them, um, and so, uh, I was just nervous the kittens would be too, but they were fine. Um, okay. Take a photo with this one again. I don't want it to be shirtless, I don't think. The dog was terrified for a whole week. Yeah, that's what happens to my parents' dogs. They, they will not, go, well, like, when they hear the fireworks, they will not go outside. They will not go outside. They won't, they go on a walk every night with my mom. When there's fireworks on, they absolutely will not go outside. And then, like, Mako will get scared to go on his walk um, for the next couple of days afterward, which makes me feel really sad. Poor little guy. It's just, like, they get so scared for so long afterward. And I, it's, like, you can't do anything about it because, like, we don't set off fireworks, but it's, like, all the, you know, people around. Not even, like, close neighbors, far neighbors, and it just... 
sucks. Um, okay, let's not bring everybody home with us, please. <laughs> Just go back by yourself. We'll hang out the pictures and stuff and then go to bed. Um, oh, I'm glad the cats are okay with it at least, Natalie. That's a relief. Yeah, poor Snappy. She used to be so scared. She would, like, bury herself in the bed, like, underneath all the pillows and blankets to try and hide. Makes you want to cry. She can't hear anymore, so that's nice. <laughs> she can't- she can't tell. Um, okay. Um... Let's go inside. You can use the toilet. Maybe the one upstairs in your room. And I'll get the photos up on the wall. Where should I put them? Maybe above this? I guess we can hang up all three pictures we just took. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What's that noise? Oh, you're watching TV. Okay, sorry. Um... I want to update the frame to be... What? There's no green option? Well, that's stupid. Okay. Um... Oh! Actually, they kind of slot cute on top of that. Maybe I could keep that like that. That's nice. We'll keep that. Okay, moss to bed. You are, are you fine? We did get promoted, oh good. Oh, that means we need a new career outfit. So there's a career outfit cheat that you have to use to modify your Sims career outfits. Um, and I wanna pick a new costume. So before we were a princess for birthday parties. Now I think we may be a fairy? I don't know. Hems, your voya? Is our career outfit. <laughs> or a pirate. Both are good. I'm not sure which one I want. The cheat is, I'll put it in chat. It's sims.modify underscore career underscore outfit underscore in underscore cast. Google. Um. So anyway, that's uh, that's how you how you do it. Google if you can't remember. I always Google it because I can't remember either. So I just search it on Google and then copy paste. Whoa, we could be a superhero, or we could be a pirate. It might be kind of fun to be a pirate. We'll be able to do all of them. Maybe I'll start with pirate. I don't know. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, you can also use MC Command Center, yeah. Whatever is easier for you. Um. That seems good to me. Pirate Princess! <laughs> I like, I like the, the changing outfits for the job thing that we've been doing. I think it's kind of cool. I don't think that there's anything else piratey that we can use. We can just leave it there. They get, um, they, they usually get promoted quite quick. So we'll have a new one soon anyway. Only takes a couple days. Um, so. Do you get fame from the entertainer career? I don't remember. I'm not sure. Maybe? No, unfortunately, Mag, prom did not work. <laughs> uh, that would be nice, but alas, no prom. We said, yes, let's go, and then it said, and nothing happened. So, yikes. Okay, everybody, let's go to bed again. What's wrong with you? Missing out on the world from midlife crisis. Oh my god. Maybe tomorrow, you have no work until 5 p.m. So maybe tomorrow you can explore the world so you aren't missing out any longer. <gasps> I saw an owl yesterday. I know nobody cares about this. <laughs> but um, me and Dan go on a walk every day and it, we haven't seen one of the owls in a while, usually because it's hard for us to go out around like dusk time and, and like in the morning enough that they're out. Um, but I show you again. Last year, I saw an owl and it's two babies. 
and the owl was feeding the babies. This is a not such a good picture, but I'll show it to you anyway. Um, here's my owl from yesterday. I was so excited. I was so excited. I love owls. Like, they're so cool. So, um, <laughs> anyway, I thought you'd be excited. So it's, it's called a barred owl. Um, and these are the ones that I see most often. It's probably the same one. Um, that's my friend, so. <laughs> Who wouldn't care? See, exactly. Isn't it so beautiful? Yeah, they're, they're, they're around a lot, these sorts of owls, but, um, I like them. <laughs> I like them a lot. It's a great pick. Yeah, it's kind of zoomed out. The, the, it was quite far away and, like, quite high up in the tree, but, um, I didn't know they had real trees in Florida. I thought it was only palm trees. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, we, I mean, most of them aren't palm trees. Most are trees like this, just like anywhere else, but we do have palm trees, um, so there, there are barn owls. So if you've heard the term barn owl before, you're not wrong. There are barn owls. This one is not a barn owl. It was a barred owl, <laughs> B-A-R-R-E-D, barred owl. Um, there's both though. <laughs> so you're not wrong in, in thinking that they were a barn owl. Cause that is, that is a thing too. Um, just not that one. Not that one in particular. It is confusing, yeah, especially because, like, barn and bard sound very similar when you say it out loud quite fast, so. Um. Okay, everyone's bed. Come on. How much longer is Lincoln pregnant? I don't even think Lincoln knows. Yeah, we're, we're starting to get some hints. So Lincoln's gonna have a few days, I think. Lincoln doesn't even know that he's pregnant yet from the thing. So, funky metabolism, um, we'll find out soon. You have an owl, you've never seen them, but you hear them almost every night. That's so cool. I think owls are so cool. <laughs> They're one of my favorite animals. I just like birds. Any sort of bird is one of my, um, favorite things. Um, when you use the mod for alien pregnancy, does the baby have an alien parent still? It, I don't know if it'll have a specific one assigned to it. I guess we'll find out. I guess we shall see. You're wearing a t-shirt with owls? Oh, that's fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pregnant. Very pregnant. MC, pregnancy. Trimester two. Partner, senior pollination, pollination technician number three. Now that makes me extremely uncomfortable. I gotta be honest. The name of that is, is shocking and upsetting. <laughs> That is a absolutely wild thing to say. <laughs> I think it's always senior uh, pollination technician number three is what it always says, but it doesn't make it any less upsetting. Pollinated. Ooh. Ooh. It's a Sims 2 reference. Yeah, but it's gross. <laughs> Pulp, would you please stop? How many times must I ask you to stop? Your boyfriend volunteers at an owl and bird of prey rescue sanctuary? That's so cool! You take in rescue parrots? Oh, that's amazing. I think that's so, so, so cool. All right, I'm trying to mop this. It's not working that well. Come on. I love birds. Birds are so cool. Oh, now we're going downstairs at 5 a.m. to mop the floor, apparently. That's not really what I wanted to do, but that's what's happening, I guess. All the way up. Go back to bed. Are you fully rested now? Look at that. Terrible. Are one of these yours? Yeah. Okay. 
you like birds from a distance, they scare you a little bit, really? You're afraid of owls for some reason? I can see that. I can see a lot of people are kind of scared of birds. I think they're so cool. <laughs> my mom, um, growing up, my mom is like really obsessed with birds. Like, like, I just like birds a decent, normal person amount. My mom, like, really likes birds. She gets, like, bird stuff and she puts it in her house and everything. She's, like, a big, big fan of birds. Whenever we would drive past, like, we had these birds called sandhill cranes in Florida. Um, and whenever we drive past them, like, because they're all over the place. They're huge birds. Um, she'd be like, oh, tall birdies! <laughs> Every time she's like oh, tall birdies every single time. So now like growing up I was conditioned to get really excited and say tall birdies anytime I see a bird like especially a crane um, and so <laughs> I like I like birds. Sandhill cranes are a little scarier though. Sandhill cranes for real are like a little scarier. I'll show you. They're really big um, and when they look right at you Um, they're kind of freaky. They used to live in the pond. I lived in a townhouse for a while that had like a retention pond behind it. It was just like a big rectangle where water drained, but there would be cranes there all the time, sometimes like 10 of them. And they would walk right up to my patio and like look in the screen door. So imagine you're just sitting there in your living room and there's a bird like staring at you with its pointy beak right through the screened in door. But they're tall as well. Um, and when there's a lot of them and they're all kind of approaching you, it's a little bit like, ooh, <laughs> I'm a little scared. Um, anyway, interesting bird that would kind of scare you. Yeah, I don't know. I like them. They're nice. You see them in a bird sanctuary. They're so funny. The sandhill cranes. Yeah, they're all over the place. You see them everywhere here. Um, they're mean too. Yeah, I think that these are not the nicest birds. They're, I've never had like an issue with one of them, but they're not like the, the most friendly, I guess. I guess you could say, uh oh, this is gonna spoil in 36 minutes. Just get rid of it. My bad. You have a skunk who hangs out on your back porch. Oh, wow. Like geese, maybe a little. These cranes are a lot bigger though. Sandhill crane. I wanna see if I can find a person for scale. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do this, but this person is feeding them. They're really big. So. Cute, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, not kidding about them being tall birdies. <laughs> yeah, they just wander around. They're just out. They usually come in packs, they'll fly. Like, the thing is, in Florida, like, there's water everywhere. Um, let me see if I can show you. Um, like, if you ever fly into Orlando, um, and you come here, and, and you're, like, flying in, and, and you're looking at, this is a shutter image, but, oh, that's a really small one but there's just water everywhere. So the birds are just kind of around because like pretty much anywhere there's a neighborhood, there's like little tiny ponds, like like little retention ponds. They do it for drainage so that when there's like, you know, lots of storms, the water has somewhere to go. Um, and a lot of these are natural bodies of water too. It's a swamp. So there's birds everywhere, sandhill cranes everywhere because there's always water everywhere, so. Um, so we have a lot of like man-made lakes and a lot of real lakes and you know, um, so there's just birds everywhere, <laughs> basically. So the, the pond that I say I lived by, um, it wasn't really like a nice pond. <laughs> it's kind of like, you see down here how there's just like a rectangle of water? <laughs> kind of like that, but smaller. <laughs> it was like in between all the townhouses, so. Uh, but there was a lot of birds that would come by. We had a lot of ducks and stuff too. Um, but just like a man-made rectangle for drainage. Is Dan is screaming? Yeah, I could hear him just then. I can't usually hear Dan as well from this in the new house, but um, I heard him just then. <laughs> oh, anyway, Florida's fun. She has her problems, but 
there are things that I think are cool about her. Um, live next to peacocks growing up. Oh, there used to be peacocks uh, in like the downtown, not really a downtown, but of where I grew up. They have peacocks and chickens over there. I never lived near one though. They're weird. <laughs> They're kind of interesting. I will never forget that I told you guys this before, but um, my, at my PO box, it's uh, it's in a place called Downtown Oviedo, which is public knowledge, I guess, because the post office box address is public. But um, in Oviedo, we are known for our chickens in the downtown. It's not really a downtown; it's just like you know, like Main Street, and there's some little shops in the post office down there, and the old churches down there, you know, that kind of stuff. And there's chickens that roam around and peacocks. And I, <laughs> when my car broke down in the post office parking lot, and it was like dead, dead. The battery shorted, I have an electric car. It was dead dead, I had to get towed. Um, I was waiting for the tow truck to come and get me. And there's just like peacocks walking around. There's like chickens crowing. <laughs> and I just sat here like outside of my car, like waiting on the floor for the tow truck to get there. <laughs> it's just like the most unbelievable. I cannot believe these chickens are mocking me as I'm sat here waiting and waiting. <laughs> Oh, it feels- it feels like a mockery is being made of you as you're getting surrounded by chickens. <laughs> but yeah, that's, um, lovely place, isn't it? <laughs> okay, there used to be big drama too because the chickens would hang out a lot around this place called Popeyes. Um, which is like a fried chicken restaurant, but then Popeye's closed. But like the whole town used to joke about like, uh oh, the chickens hang out by Popeye's. Um, yikes. <laughs> and some people, some people in our town have uh, bumper stickers that say, I break for Oviedo chickens. Because you're not supposed to, obviously if you hit them or kill them, you're in big trouble. So anyway, yeah, jokes on Popeye's. The chickens outlive Popeye's. Popeye's closed. <laughs> So. <laughs> uh, okay, now what? You have finished. Do you want to work on maybe your guitar skill again? Because you need to get it maxed higher. Kayla, Dan singing. Don't worry, Dan always sings. It's no big deal. This is like a daily thing. Basically, his whole stream is just Dan singing. He's probably singing Taylor Swift as we speak. Did you just become acquaintances with my dead horse? Interesting. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, kind of like that, Ava, yeah, definitely, um, I've never seen them down there, I've only been to Tampa a couple times in my life, but I, yeah. Popeye's closed? No, I don't think all Popeye's closed, specifically the Popeye's that I'm discussing, that particular building closed, not all Popeye's, just that one. Um. I don't know much about what Popeye's business is looking like, though. Did you guys know that Red Robin... Not Red Robin. What's it called? No, I watched a video about this yesterday. Maybe it is Red Robin. I can't remember. No, not Red Robin. One of the other ones. Fancier? Did you know it closed? Not Applebee's. Ruby Tuesday! That's what I'm trying to say. Do you guys know Ruby Tuesday went out of business? I don't know if they still have any anywhere, but I watched a video yesterday about they went bankrupt or something. Maybe they're still around a little bit, but I, they went bankrupt. I didn't know that. I've not been to a Ruby Tuesdays and probably like, maybe ever, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, a person called Bright Sun Films made a video about it. I watched it last night before bed. I think there's a Ruby Tuesday in the, in the Orlando airport, but I could make that up. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's still open. I've never been to it. But I think we have one in the airport here. So. <laughs> Full Metal Chinchilla and Ace of Hearts and Queen Bunny, thanks for the subs. They're gone where you are? Yeah. I think they've been closing for a long time. But I never knew they closed, but I never went there either, so, you know. But yesterday I learned that and I was like, whoa, that's sad. What is a Ruby Tuesday? It's a restaurant. Oh my God. Wait, you can't dislike guitar. Um, it's a, it's a restaurant and um, it's kind of like, it, I think from my understanding, it has like sort of Olive Garden vibes where it's like 
not like an expensive restaurant, but it's not like the most cheap place in the world. And it's like a family, like a nicer family restaurant. Still affordable for families, but like maybe you'd go there for like a special occasion with your family. And it's not like too expensive. Kind of like Applebee's. But nicer maybe? I don't know. I've never been to one. And it's closed, so I never will go, I guess. Their website says steak. Oh, they have steak? Oh, I didn't know that. See, I don't go there. <laughs> I never will. <laughs> um, we're never gonna find out. <laughs> Sorry about, sorry about the goat, by the way. Sorry, everybody. They had a good salad bar. I did, I learned that yesterday in the video that I watched about them. So. <laughs> Where is Dika? You miss him? Oh, Dika got a new job. Um, so he's been, it's not that new anymore. It's been a few months, but um, he got a new job a few months ago. So he's been quite busy. Um, it's hard when you're like, obviously, in Europe in that time zone and you're trying to work a regular job. <laughs> Dika was here earlier, um, just not here as much anymore, you know, just busy, busy with work and stuff. Um, can you not get through? Is it because of the plant? I guess it probably is because of the plant. I suppose that makes sense. Time zones, yeah, it's rough, but. You were confused with what you were seeing hopping around in the back. No, it's just a giant goat. Goat, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> just a giant goat. So, um, they emerged from bankruptcy in 2021. Ruby Tuesdays did. Oh, good for them. Well, can you actually not get in there? I'll just teleport you in there. Come here, Moss. I'll get you a shower. Don't worry. Come here, Moss. There. Fine. Uh-oh. Oh, did you already? Never mind. Maybe we didn't need a shower. I don't know what I'm doing. Debating making cookies. Oh, maybe I should bake. I keep... No, I'm not gonna bake. I keep saying I'm gonna bake. I, like, almost every night this week, I've been like, oh, maybe I'll bake something tonight, and then I don't. I won't. Yes, the Six Flags video. I didn't know that about Six Flags. I there. So this YouTuber called Bright Sun Films, um, I really... No! Alan! I'll get a new one, don't worry. Okay, order is restored. All is right with the world. Alan 10 is back. <laughs> anyway, there's this YouTuber called Bright Sun Films, and he makes a lot of videos. Um, uh, he has like videos about abandoned places, um, big chain businesses that have gone bankrupt, stuff like that. But also, he shares a similar fascination with theme parks that I do. <laughs> so he makes a lot of content about um, like theme parks and, and things like that. Um, and I appreciate that because I, I also share a theme park fascination. So <laughs> um, good videos. I like, he also has a travel channel and he's made a lot of videos where he like reviews some really expensive suites and stuff and like fancy hotels and fancy cruises. Um, and I like that. I think that's so interesting. So. Anyway, <laughs> Defunct Land is a great YouTuber too. Um, all make really good videos, similar vibes. Um, did you size up the goats outside? They look really big. Oh, where are the goats? Hold on, let me see if I can. Oh no, that's like a perfectly average sized goat. <laughs> it's a perfectly average sized goat. What do you mean? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I size them up a lot, yeah. The the actual goats are like, hold on. Let me see if I can show you. Can you copy paste a goat? No. The actual goats are about that big. Mine are big, 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 big goats. So. That video is so good, Sierra. Actually, I'm gonna tell you guys about this. So there's a video that Defunctland made about the Disney Channel theme song, okay? The, the Disney Channel theme song. And you might not think that that's that interesting, all right? It is. It's so interesting and you need to watch it. I mean, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to play it. I'm gonna link it for you. I'm serious, this video is so cool. <laughs> it's quite long. It's like an hour and a half long, um, but it's it's, 
really interesting. Especially if you grew up watching the Disney Channel, I think you'll really like it. it it's a really interesting video. You will really, really like it. I mean it. It's like a journey, like it's, um, yeah, Defunctland has some really good videos that, like, might sound boring upon first glance, but are not. The other one that's really good is, um, there's a video about, uh, Disney's FastPass system, um, and, like, <laughs> kind of how bad it is and stuff, um, but this video is also really good. You will probably like them. Even if you don't care about this stuff, like theme parks, I think you might like it. It's just kind of interesting, so, um... I think you would like it. It's they're both really long videos, though. The Fast Pass one is like an hour and 45 minutes or something. Um, so it's it's a commitment, <laughs> but it's it's cool. Um, it's really good. I like that sort of thing. Um, and then the other channel that I was talking about, Defunctland, is that one. The other one is called Bright Sun Films, is the one I would just mention a second ago. Um, this video uh, that Christine just mentioned is about Six Flags, was posted like last week. I can link that for you too. This is the other one. Um, so anyway, cool YouTubers. They make some really good content. Um, okay, what's everybody up to? Moss, <gasps> who broke my stuff? Who's that random kid? You just came here and smashed my school projects? Uh -huh. What? They like broke into my house with a bag on their head and smashed my school projects. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna yell at this kid. I've decided. I need to have five enemies for this legacy challenge for this generation and I'm gonna make one of them a child. <laughs> you will pay. <laughs> I'm gonna be rude to this little kid. Okay, rude introduction. Tease mercilessly. Shout forbidden words. Give a mean gift. <laughs> um, claim you're a plant sim. They're gonna be like, no, you're a plant sim. Look at you. <laughs> Shove? <gasps> you can't do that! <laughs> you can't be serious. <gasps> oh my god. Um, Lolly, I'm not sure what you're talk talking about. There's something censoring you there. I haven't seen what you tried to say. Um, if you're ever seeing censoring, like actual censoring in Twitch chat, like the asterisk, that's your chat settings that are doing that. Um, I don't know if that's the case of what's actually happening to you, but, um, if a thing is censored in my chat, uh, it will, like, get deleted, which is different, um, by us. So we haven't deleted anything you said. It might be something that, um, maybe if, if you're seeing it from your chat settings, I don't know what you're looking at though. But you can, you're welcome to talk about Palestine here. So I won't delete your messages ever for that. Um, Mary Grace, Lyra, YB, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, would you also like to shout forbidden words out again? Try and make this sim an actual enemy. This is messed up. Annoy. I don't know. Did you know you can freeze kids with the freeze ray? <laughs> I did. I did. I actually still have the freeze ray. Oh, you watched algae destroy at least one of the projects? Not this kid? This kid did one of them. I watched this kid do one of them. Oh dear. Okay. Freeze Ray! Watch this, watch this, watch this. Freeze Ray! Stop! Now my sim is sick! This is karma. Freeze Ray! Okay. Um. Alright, I guess I'll just leave that then. That's fine. <laughs> what is going on with Moss? Moss has been kind of, um, scary recently. <laughs> I 
Moss isn't gonna be evil. Don't worry. Moss is just gonna be evil to that kid in particular. Moss has to have a few enemies. Moss, I, I don't think they're like a nice person, necessarily. But, um, we have to do some programming skill probably from this. Moss is not nice, but they're not mean. They're, they're mean sometimes. But they have a lot of good friends as well. They're very dramatic. It's, there's no in between. You're either besties or enemies with Moss. Um, okay. Is Moss on the gallery? Uh, no, there is not an updated version of Moss on the gallery. I guess I could do that now. Yeah, Moss became a teen today. We are officially a teen as of earlier today. So. Your sim is having triplets? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Um, well, I'll get them up on the gallery. Oh! <laughs> Freaking in it. Lincoln's having an alien baby. That's kind of fun. Okay. There's an up there's an updated one for you. Natalie, thank you for the sub gift to Izzy and a lady they for 46 months. Hmm. Okay, that's up for you. Um I've, <laughs> we've not had the, the alien baby yet. Should I force us into labor so we can see what what are we gonna name the alien baby? I don't know. Shrek was something we had talked about a lot. Shrek was like the, the number one next name choice. Well, actually Broccoli was, but then I got a cat named Broccoli, so. Alien, what, like Alan, but an alien? <laughs> Artichoke? Hmm. Mold? Isn't mold mean? Zucchini. Didn't we already have a sim called Zucchini? Why do I feel like I have a memory of a sim called Zucchini? Did I do that in the mint gen? Swamp? Pickle, please. We already have a sim named Pickle. We have moss, algae, and pickle. Slime. Slime. I, okay, honest, honest. I'm being so serious right now. I actually think that slime could be, like if it didn't have such negative connotations, slime could be a person's name. I think the same thing about algae. Algae is a nickname sometimes in real life for like Algernon, but I think that algae could be a real name. Pickle not so much. Slime I think is pretty. Mold is mean, but slime isn't. <laughs> slime is good. People call me Lil Slimey sometimes instead of Simsy. So I'm naming the kid after myself. I'm, I'm stuck between slime and Shrek. I guess we could do a poll. Hold on. Baby name, slime, Shrek. I'm leaning towards slime personally, but I'll leave it up to you all. We can do a proper vote. Speak your mind, what do you prefer? We can decide together. 71% says slime so far, but it's it's shrinking. No, it's back. Okay, 71% says slime. 70% says slime. It might be a solid 70% with the slime vote. 69% says slime. <laughs> I guess we do have a sim called Shrek in our 100 baby challenge. So, okay, ready? MC pregnancy. You are in your third trimester, so I don't feel that bad about cheating you into labor. Have baby at hospital. Okay, alien baby, alien baby. <laughs> All right. Oh, we can't do that, Rowan, because Moss's almost girlfriend, her last name, that's her last name. Oh, I would, I'd show you, but I can't. Okay, so Potts is our last name. 69% of the chat says slime, so slime it is. Slime Potts, oh, it's an alien! 
Oh god. Oh god. Send to home world? <laughs> He's so cute. And green. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we make sure 27 months. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy right now. I'm gonna regret this when I have to raise the kid, but it's okay. It's okay. I think technically... Yeah, technically Slime is not Princess's son, but we'll have Princess adopt Slime so that they are. Um... What do the aliens eat? Uh, just their regular sims. Here's senior pollination, pollination technician number three. So. Did your sim get abducted? Well, so. No. <laughs> but we're pretending that he did. You know? Yes, yes, I used a mod to cheat it. But we're pretending that he was abducted. So. Yeah. <laughs> I should just tell him yes from now on. <laughs> Geek safe for 31 months. This is maybe a good time for us to stop as well. Because I usually stream for about three hours. Don't transform that! Sorry. I usually stream for about three hours, and then we can save the, like, reno of Slime's room and the setup of Slime's room, and mostly the caring for Slime until next episode. Because um, I don't really want to deal with a baby right now. <laughs> I don't really want to deal with that. Okay, so quick problem. I will not be here tomorrow, annoyingly. I have too much to do, so I'm not going to be home in time to stream, but I will be here on Saturday. Um, we're going to work on our blue suburban neighborhood um, on Saturday, and then I may stream a little bit in the morning on Sunday. It depends how much recording I have to do. That's going to be maybe a bonus surprise stream. Um, but that's the plan for this weekend, so normally I won't be here tomorrow, but I'll be here on Saturday. We'll do some building. Um, and, uh, oh, Pope! Hello, Pope! Oh, you have fleas again. I gave you a bath, didn't I? Do I have another one? Oh my god, look at that thing. <gasps> Sorry. Wow. Wow. I think Pulp's an alien. Maybe Pulp's family is who came and abducted Lincoln. I actually, you know what? Oh, I stand by that. Pulp's alien family is who came and abducted Lincoln. <laughs> so, so, Pulp is biologically related to slime. Pulp's immortal because they're an alien. And Pulp is biologically related to slime. So. Pulp came from 6M, yeah. That is the scariest looking dog I have ever seen, somebody said. <laughs> I love Pulp. Okay, I feel good. Yeah, Pulp gave them the address. The Pulp was like, you should come down here. I want a sibling, you know? So. <laughs> yeah, slime can be non-binary. That sounds like fun to me. <laughs> I like it. Any way to cheat relation to Pulp? No, I don't think so. Once Slime is older, we can make their friendship with Pulp be like 100%. So, how does a dog get related to a Sim? Well, I mean, it's pretend, but in a fun way. So, oh, Pulp needs a vet. Okay, I wanna get another picture of Pulp. I'm gonna hang it up. Do I have any open space in my photo frame? Where was it? Oh, that one's full. It's this one that needs more pictures still. Come here, Pulp. There we go. Maybe I should get a picture of the baby too, the little alien baby. Cause we have some of the other kids. 
They can communicate telepathically since they're aliens. Yes! Yes! That makes perfect sense. Stop! Put the baby down and then take a photo. Put it down, take a photo. No! Oh, it's crying. Okay, good. Okay. The alien baby voices are quite scary. Pulp is the rock of the family. <laughs> You're so right. You're so right. Oh, that one's messed up. Only one of them's good. Okay. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Catherine, Queen of Moons, thanks for the subs. I feel absolutely fantastic right now. This has been a lot of fun. I really love Not So Berry. These Sims are so silly. Um, I think we'll play Not So Berry again on... Hmm, probably next Thursday, to be honest, because we agreed to do a shell challenge next week, so we gotta do that first. Probably next Thursday we'll play Not So Berry again. Um, so that'll be good. Pulp has been around since the orange gen. So orange gen, purple gen, pink gen, peach gen, green gen. <laughs> so Pulp has been around for five <laughs> generations. I keep using age down traits. Traits. Pulp, pulp will never die. So, anyway, um, <laughs> let's go see who all is live and maybe find somebody to raid. <laughs> Long live pulp, as they say. Um, okay. Well, I was thinking it may be fun to raid someone who is potentially also playing The Sims. Um, I have an idea. My. How about how about this? Oh, 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 Soph is doing Sims Do Valley, horsing around. <laughs> that sounds like fun to me. So let's go over there. We can go say hi to Soph and we can, we can do some horsing around, I guess. <laughs> um, and annoyingly, I won't be here tomorrow, but I will be here on Saturday. So I'll see you, I will see you then. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I miss you already. <laughs> um, and I'll catch you all in a bit, okay? Okay, bye everybody. Thank you, love you, miss you. Say hi to Soph for me. Okay, bye.